Welcome back to Universe. I'm Andrew, and today I'm playing Marvel's Midnight Suns. This is my sixth episode in the series, though you are welcome to join me if the, for the first time. Although, if you'd like to know the story so far and see how the tutorial, how the game works, definitely check out starting with episode one in the playlist linked below in the description. I'm currently I'm about to start my blood trial number two. And this is going to be my second attempt at it, although I'm hoping I'm actually the correct level now. And my pet demon dog, Charlie, has leveled up a bit since my previous attempt as well. So let's see how it goes. Defeat 16 Lillen within four turns. And survive, I presume. And became what we would call demons. The god of two. Born from Gaia herself, was set upon our world to slay these monsters. These guys hit In hard. Sense, the two of you have had a shared purpose. Fight well, Hunter, and he may just honor you with his blessing. 281 health. Taking out the minions, in my experience, is not too hard. So all these little dogs. It's these big guys, and they've got that scary crossed sword symbol around... That one's around the Charlie icon, which means this one's going to hit Charlie really hard. And this one is my Hunter icon, meaning it's going to hit the Hunter really hard. Do I have anything that can prevent it? We've got Howl, so we always like starting with Howl. How many dogs can we hit? Four? It's probably okay, because uh, if we have a quick card, which we do... We can get refund on at least one anyway. Actually, I wonder if we can howl like these four. Ooh. Looks like no. I managed to finagle it like by one pixel before, but this time I'm probably not. I was thinking because if I could mark these, then I can knock back this one with the quick. This guy's by himself over here. We can also just use a heroism to bash one with a rock. But that would only apply to one of these two, which means we'd want to mark all three of these. And it's the problem, I think, is that these two are the ones farthest away from each other. I could make some deadly ground and hope that it appears somewhere useful. But I wonder if I'm not even supposed to try to kill these guys. 281 damage. Uh, just supposed to survive and I don't really have any special effects Actually, this can make a stun. I Think the light explosive can stun If I knock somebody directly into it, I'm kind of scared because I don't know where it's gonna appear but Let's do it Not great. Kind of distant. So that one's 20 damage. This one is 20 damage. But I want to say I've seen that if you like throw one of these guys into it, they do get stunned. Yeah, there's this stun icon. Obviously, I don't want to do it on a minion, though. Ah, he does have a line of sight, so I could whip him into that. And stun him. Does it work on this guy? Or I'm rather on the dark one. Yeah, see the dark one, it looks like it doesn't stun. Is that more damage? It looks like it's like 35 damage. Even though it says it's the same amount of damage. I wonder why the dark one doesn't stun. Well, I'm going to need to whip. 
Alright, my brother, I'm gonna need a howl. For sure. Oops, what did I do? Oh, I just cancelled it. That's fine. Uh, let's redo it. I mean, I can mark this guy too. Let's mark two. So I have this turn and next turn to take him out. May as well. So let's do that. Charlie can mark them. They cannot possibly match your strength. Go ahead and bite one of them and draw another card. Um Maybe this one. Leave some Get the, the card play us. refunded because of the mark. Got another bite, which is great. Let's bite this one. That's because this rock is here for bashing this one if needed. And then this one is still kind of in line to get knocked back. Um, we can do that with a quick slash, but... I think I might just bite it because... I'm going to want to click on the thing that's not marked. So let's bite here. I could even do Holy Gift Bite. But that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I get two heroism off of that, but it's basically using a card to get two heroism. Because Bite is a redraw anyway, I could just redraw this Holy Gift. Let's just do this. I saw a move like that once centuries ago. Another Bite. Go ahead and bite here because oh, this is a bite plus, but huh, bite plus. I wonder if Charlie is standing like here. If I could knock back this dog into this dog, they look a little bit far away though. I don't think there's a huge need for me to use my move otherwise. I'm kinda scared to reposition Charlie, because Charlie can't use terrain attacks. But Hunter can. You know what? If I whip this guy into this, it's going to explode and it will kill this dog anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and bite my, narc bark my marked target. And not really worry about the knockback on the plus portion. Now that was something. Get another card play, get another card draw. We got a heal. Um, tempted to redraw it, but I know we're going to take a ton of damage. I'm not going to play this Holy Gift. Redraw this for plus one heroism. It's another heal though. 76 damage. We have 172. Charlie has 86. Uh, if I whip, I'm going to discard a card at random anyway. One more card play. What is this? Oh, marked two. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm gonna whip this guy into here. Oh no, Charlie's in the way now. Charlie. Oh no. Okay, well I'm glad I didn't use my move. I mean, I guess if I'd use my move, Charlie wouldn't be here, but I do need to use it now to move Charlie out of the way. Yeah, move, whipping them into the dark one does not stun. He's too far. Charlie's going to take a big hit, though. This guy's too far to go over there. Alright, Charlie. You need to move to... So I think I'm going to move Charlie here. Because if I stun this guy, this one's going to attack. 
So if Charlie's here, then that guy will have to move over here toward my little dark one. So I'm going to have Charlie move here. So that the bad guy will stand about here and I'll be able to knock him in. That's my idea. I keep saying he for Charlie. Charlie is a girl dog. My apologies to Charlie. It's the name that throws me off. Alright. So now we're going to whip this demon into our light thingy, stun it, and kill the extra dog minion. You had your chance. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. We lose. Now I teach them to Holy flame. We have one more redraw. I'm going to keep the quick slash because I'm pretty sure more minions are going to show up. I'm going to keep the heal because Charlie's going to take a bunch of damage. I could use some heroism right now. Start hitting this other guy. But I almost just want to not do that. And focus fire this guy because... I don't know. Splitting the damage, there's just so much health. I just have to survive four turns if I can take out one of them. But if I damage him now, he becomes unstunned. So I'm going to end my turn. That guy comes over here where we wanted. Probably takes 46 damage, it's about half. The guy's not quite in the perfect position. Dogs are all over there. Nobody got close to our dark explosion. Our tomb was unleashed. And made quick work of the demons. What if Hunter In kicks this process, thing? He became something of a monster himself. There's no way to hit more than one of them. He even became known as the Demogorg, the God Eater. If this How's is a Charlie? cautionary tale, your timing could use some work. Wounded. 15 damage every time they play a card. So we can't have him do a bite chain, pretty sure. We have the quick cards. We have quick slash quick slash. So we can refund card plays without howling, necessarily. So with our shove, we could take out two minions with just our move. We might then be in a position to quick slash this third dog into the big guy, refunding a card play, but I don't think we'd be in position really to do anything else after that. Whip this guy into the dark, not, not super enticing, because again, unless it's stunning, I don't think I care about damaging more than one big bad guy. Nobody's targeting Charlie. So Charlie's a little bit off the hook right now. I don't want to get this damage in. This is a crit, so it's tempting to knock this guy into a dog, which will then refund a card play. I don't know what makes the most sense, and I'm kind of impatient, so I'm going to do this. I'm just going to kick this terrain into him. Just some heroism spent. Still have my move. Haunted him, but he's already targeting me. If I quick slash him, cannot get a minion. Which is not what we wanted. I'm afraid to whip because I really want to use both quick slashes. How much block? We have eight block, so that's not a lot. Well, 
We survived one turn, it took no damage so far. That's pretty good, three turns remaining. Oh, we do have to defeat 16 Lilin. Five down, 11 to go. Uh, man. What if I shove now? No. Yeah, now I messed up my shove position. Should I redraw? I'm gonna redraw this mall. Oh man, putting vulnerable on this big guy could be... 43 damage would bring him down to 122. That's a lot. I could get him down to like 60 this turn, maybe lower. Certainly lower if I like threw this rock at him and stuff. Man. I don't want to have Charlie do anything because of the wound. Afraid to move. Well, I'm not in a position to shove now. I mean, I could shove this, maybe. So I could take out these two minions with a shove. I wonder if I would then be in basically the same spot? Or if I'd be able to quick slash this guy into this then. But if I'm not, then I'm going to be really sad about my quick slash. I'm gonna try it because I do need to. I can't just take all this damage. Yeah, I didn't really move at all. So, quick slash is not. I can either take out minions or hit the big guy. Should I redraw? What am I hoping to draw? I'm gonna get rid of the minions. You were too weak for so we're not fight. taking too many hits. We don't have to kill this guy, we just have to survive, so. And no way to, you know what, if I heal Charlie, I still have three card plays, quick slash, I'm still going to have three card plays. And then if I whip, I'll still have two card plays after that. So anyway, I'm going to heal. I'm going to draw two more options. I have plenty of card plays right now. Alright, a critical maul. It's very tempting. Another deadly ground. Also tempting. Yeah, I want to see where it is. Let's, let's do it. All right, so now we have a whip destination. And both of those guys are in it. Can I whip this guy to it? Yeah. Take out both the minions and stun him. That is what we wanted. I didn't know that's what I wanted, but now that I see that I have it, that's what I wanted. So I just I can just quick slash. Well, no. Um, one more card play now. Because I 
played heal, and then the gr deadly ground. So I think that my one more card play is a whip. I'm going to save everything else. Uh, especially the critical maul. Do I redraw the non-critical maul? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And then a bite. I'll keep a bite for the next wave of minions. We're gonna have to lose something at random, but I can handle it. Alright, so taking out both minions, stunning this guy, doing a bunch more damage. Blade told me to mention your mother. What's our little count? What I lose? I lost Howl? Oh no. Oh, I lost the critical maul. That's too bad. Alright, 10 out of 16 down. Going into round 3. Wow, lost 8 block and 38 health. Reinforcements, of course. Please all be in range of my little explosive. They did not. Just imagine how much more difficult this would be if Charlie wasn't there to join you. I think you owe her a treat after this. Ah, how plus is a bigger area. I don't need both, so let's ditch one of them. I don't like this card. I don't want it in my deck anymore. Why is it here? Uh, holy gift. Ditch it. What do I? What would I repeat? At the cost of spending a card play. Nope. Bite's good. Alright, we need a mark. That is five enemies. Although two of them we might not actually take out. We have a quick slash. Um... These two guys don't need to be marked, because they're both going to get taken out by my little bomb. Assuming I whip somebody into it, although this guy we actually want to hit is too far away. And I don't have a vulnerable anymore, because so I discarded, I redrew and then randomly discarded via whip both of my vulnerables. 107 damage. I can do some. Where's Hunter standing? Here. Oh, she's still good on health. One. I mean, she's good on health unless she gets hit by all these enemies, but. Is this guy in whipping range of this one? Oh, wait. Yes. And that would be about half. Alright, that's half of 107. That's like 50 damage. The little bars make it look like it's like 35. I don't know how much each bar represents. But yeah, that's about 50 damage. 50 damage. Alright, howling makes sense. Let's start howl. Let's howl. Charlie's not wounded anymore. We're gonna howl and we can start biting. They cannot possibly match your strength. Who's targeting Charlie? Just this one and this one. Alright, let's start biting. Bite. Bite. Okay. Bite. I am impressed. Holy flame. 
I wonder if I reposition Charlie over here, the bite plus can knock this a little bit farther, or maybe even into this guy, and then he'll be close enough to whip. Uh, we won't get a redraw or a, ca or a draw card. We we'll only have one card to play after that, which will be the whip. How much damage would that be? Bite is 29. The explosion is about half. 50, 29 is half of what he'll have left. If we hit him with a rock. I feel like he will not quite be dead, but there's another rock over here. Oh, and he'll get bumped into his friend. Okay. We might be able to take him out. Although we do want to finish him off with a card if possible. Which would be the whip. So, let's have Hunt, because if he's marked, we get another card play. So Hunter, hit him with a rock. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hit him with another rock. Oh, he's not close enough. Okay. Well, we might not get our refund of cards, but... Let's see if we can get the rest of the plan to work. Charlie, come here, please. Please. The bite plus with knockback. We're gonna knock him into here. That's a good chunk of damage. Hopefully he's in whipping range now. It might not be. He kind of bounced bounced around a little bit. Whip, please. No! Wow. So I can kill him with this whip. And he is marked. So by whipping him into Charlie, I should get my card play back, because he is still marked for one more, oh he's marked for two turns, yeah we just howled him. Okay, where's Hunter? Hunter? Where'd she go? Well, I'm blind. This hunter disappeared. Oh, I'm not blind. She just actually disappeared. Well, okay. Uh, I'm gonna whip him into Charlie. That'll kill him. That'll give me my card back. And then I can quick slash the two dogs. Doesn't look good. All right, so this is what happened with Venom. I'm gonna. S I can't save. Well, how am I supposed to? Okay. Well, I'm gonna quick slash this dog into the dog. Defeated 16 Lillen. Got another card play back. Hunter is down on health a little bit, so maybe I can heal her. Or I can redraw. I can't redraw, so I can deal damage. 38 damage. I mean, we're not going to kill this guy, right? We just have to survive two more turns. We could kill him. But maybe just healing is better. Oh, he's going to hit Charlie? Come on. Alright, I'm going to play this so that I get one more Ivy Collar stack. Not that I know that I'm ever going to want to use that Ivory Collar anyway. 
Let's just do the damage. I I don't know how to fix that. Oh, that taunts it too. Oh, these guys have the ability they get taunted all the time. Rage, taking health damage will taunt this. So, there you go. Now, uh, there's no terrain to really hit. So, oh, there she is. At least for a moment. Okay. I think Blade is honestly jealous that you're getting this extra. One training. turn remaining. Is that live Is this the last turn? We just have to survive this attack. We did get a whip. Is he in whipping range? He is. It's a nice chunk. We do not have the vulnerable card, which you'd probably need to take him out. We got a couple rocks. We can use to... This can take out this guy. This can take out one of those three. Howl is a bigger... Oops. Howl is a bigger Howl range. We can get all five of them. Howl plus. So let's do that. Uh, let's see if we can chain some bites. Leave some for the rest of us. Leave some for the rest of us. Bite plus. Do that. Get a card fund and draw a card. Centuries ago. Um, quick slash. Sure, but let's just keep biting for now. Leave some for the rest of us. It's already marked. We don't need a howl. Don't need a heal, but it would let us draw two cards. How much? Heals 114. Yeah. Uh, can she quick slash? Nope. Whoops. No, I clicked it. Well, we get the card refund. Kind of want to put my damage on the big guy, though. He's kind of in a triangle from either thing, but he was just was just out of range of that one and just barely in range of that one. I'm wondering if I can hit him with this thing. Well, we pretty much survived at this point. I'm going to quick slash this. if that puts her into position Return to, to use the terrain item but it didn't there's nothing to shove so I may as well just move her oh he's out of range anyway I shouldn't have even clicked yeah well let me do it because he's not he's not in range he's too far away so see two card plays let's heal I mean unlikely anything could go wrong at this point but just keep us safe triggers ivory collar we get to draw two cards plus the ivory collar itself the next hunter attack is not discarded so we can whip and then keep the whip in our hand I mean I don't even want this. Just gonna play it. It'll help our light alignment, especially since I'm about to whip again for a more dark alignment. This shall be of great help. We'll throw him in with that thing. Your time has come. And I assume this scenario is gonna end, so we won't this really get a chance to kill him. Oh, he's now vulnerable. Oh, the dark one makes you vulnerable. All right, vulnerable too. I don't think I knew that. I assume that came from the dark explosion. 
Okay, so that's good to know. Oh, is, does it show you that on there? I don't know. The previous? Lilith would be embarrassed by Wounded. And that's it. Now let's see, does it end the scenario or does it say now could just kill everybody? Make an impression on Autumn, I don't know what will. Autumn. Work, Hunter. What's a season? Well, my name's Autumn, but I spell it A-T-U-M. Three stars. Okay. Three stars. Nobody died? Killed everybody but one big guy? Had full health up until that last final attack? I guess so. Definitely much easier at level 8 than it was at level 6. There's our seal. Boom. That's some kind of invitation if I've ever seen one. Come on in. Let me just blow the door open for you. Mm, now we're doing bridgey stuff. There's a statue, but I can't pay respects. Alright, so now we're gonna... Oh. Yeah, this is that one bridge that I've walked past from the other side. I think. Or one like it. So let's go learn how to... Make magic bridges. Reveal, word of power, calling on Autumn. Allows you to reveal all manner of mysteries hidden from view. These may be long forgotten structures or events that cannot be detected with the naked eye. With a tomb's help, you shouldn't have any trouble uncovering the more elusive elements hidden throughout the ground. That sounds better. Why don't you try out his blessing on that stone over there? Why don't I indeed? Why, you know what? I think I will. So there's our little symbol. Hold space bar. Go over here. Reveal. Revelio. Oh. Autumn reveals all. Full on repaired. Wait, now she said autumn again. Who's saying Autumn? Oh no, this is a different little bridge. Alright, get an arcane key. A mystery item. Valley of the Winds. A little shiny puddle. This is the door. This is the bridge that I've seen before from the other side. Because I, I notice it specifically, especially because I saw that this symbol was here on the far side. So I expected I would need to come out on that this side with my new power. Bespoke Potions Recipe Book. Every recipe includes bitters, moderate heroic essence, greater healing salve. I still don't have the thing that lets me make these potions and stuff. Um, not super interested in consumable items. Although, maybe at some point I'll really feel their lack of them. But I'm also not playing on higher difficulty. I'm not pushing up the difficulty every time it asks me. Well, so far I've only skipped one prompt to do so. But, um, I, I, I thought about it a lot in the interim. So the first five episodes I was actually playing within about a week. And now it's been about a week since I played last, and that's probably going to be the pace going forward, is I'll get to record maybe one, maybe two episodes a week. So, obviously by the time you're watching them, it's been a bit since the recording, but... Anyway, in the past few days, I've been thinking about the difficulty, and I've never been a big fan of higher difficulty levels giving higher rewards. I know that's what everybody expects, 
and that's what everybody does because everybody expects it because everybody wants it but it just doesn't make a lot of sense because if you're getting higher rewards then you're actually making it easy on yourself right the higher, better rewards make it easier so if you really want to play hard mode you should play without rewards and play the same difficulty as everyone else and just lower your rewards of course that's not as fun people like rewards and when people make it harder on themselves, like by giving enemies higher hit points, they feel like they should be rewarded for that. But when you do that, like I said, you're just, you're making the enemies harder, but you're making yourself stronger. So it just evens out. And I think that's what this game is really embracing, is every time you make the difficulty higher, you are now behind a little bit. But... As you play a few missions and get those increased buffed up rewards, you're going to catch up. You're going to catch up to the difficulty that you set for yourself. So, anyway, um, and, and what the increased rewards are often is higher, uh, faster leveling. So you level faster, you get more XP. Oh, there's no haven. I still haven't used any of the havens, but collecting them, figuring out who's the best match, figure that out at some point. So as you power level yourself by playing on harder difficulties, this is a common, I'll skip it. Your difficulty now is going to go up, but your power level's higher. Anyway, it all evens out. You catch up after a few missions, and then it asks you, do you want to raise it again? And you say yes. And what you end up doing, of course, this is all my conjecture. I have not played through the game. But it just, what it seems like would happen, logically speaking. Autumn does not answer. Why not? Hey. Hey. Autumn must not see it that way. Do I have to stand directly on this block? There we go. Autumn, show me the way. If you gain advanced XP, you level faster, you start realizing, oh, I can handle that next mission. You stop playing side missions, you advance the story super fast, and you finish the game faster. That's my theory. The more you power level, the faster you finish the game. That might not be quite right because. It might slow you down the higher difficulty level. You might really need to like over level a bit uh, to compensate for the higher difficulty, and that might take the same amount of time as it would a lower leveled player to defeat a lower difficulty mission. The same mission on a lower difficulty setting. But anyway, I'm just happy to relax and have a good time and do fun combos rather than making every mission the hardest it can possibly be for myself. Suspected witch Margaret Adams suspended in an iron cage for several weeks. The unnatural longevity of the suspect revealed her true nature. Interesting. Interrogation records found one of six. Where am I now? I'm not somewhere I've been before. I'm back here. I don't have a name for this zone yet, so I can't fast travel. Let's just keep exploring for now. Getting a lot of resources, too. There's another haven. The Eerie Graveyard. Is that a Nico location? And if I'm right that leveling, or that increasing difficulty actually ends up speeding up the game, I'm definitely not interested in that. I'm happy to relax and enjoy the story, play a lot of side missions, etc. Another common added to my map. Deadly Nightshade. There's tons of resources out here. It's just no one's been out here to collect them. <gasps> Floaty moat? Oh no. The storm. Storm channels nature's power in the elements, harnessing a frightful storm with little effort. 
This card represents pleasure and prosperity and a strong natural influence. The Empress. Nine of 22 tarot cards. Don't know which way I've gone necessarily. Is this where I came into the graveyard? Yeah. So let's go back around. Or is this where I came from? I don't know. I haven't seen any nightshade blossoms in a while. Ah, oh, I haven't been up here. Deadly Nightshade. There's our symbol. What can we make? I wonder if this is going to reveal like a memory. Oh. Made that bridge. Corrupt well mystery. Interesting. Cathan's dark influence has tainted this well. Hmm. Alright. It's a mystery. I might be able to untaint it somehow at some point. I hope so. I hate when people taint the well. Ooh. More corruption. Blocking my way. Look at that. Look at those big old red flowers about there. I can't get to those. Because I'm unable to climb this small outcropping. Huh. More mysteries. Secrets upon secrets. I still didn't get like a fast travel waypoint for this zone, huh? I don't want to have to... Alright, so let's go follow all the path. And go, like, left on this path, and go up here. Mm, mm, mm. This is a cool place. Oh, there we go. Map. Oh, I just unlocked Agatha on the map. Okay. Everflowing Glade. More corruption. Agatha, what is this? The corrupted influence of the Elder God Cthon. But we won't be able to heal the Abbey Grounds until we've recovered the Moon Seal, stolen by Hiram Shaw. Wow. Remind me about the seal? I think you've gotten ahead of yourself, dear. You'll need to find the Moon Seal first. A trial awaits you. Mmm. Already being prompted about our next trial. I just finished one. Just did one. Is that the way I came in? There's a few different ways to go. Let's go ahead and check out this reflecting pool mystery. Might be able to do that. I'll come back in a second. So much corruption. Is that one of the Midnight Sun statues? Oh, there's the next symbol. Looks like a triple scissors. Revelio. Elder Hippus Shrine. What is that symbol? Do we have that symbol? Oh, that's the first symbol. Open, please. The goddess of order approves. 
All right, some corruption in here, but not blocking us. <gasps> the legendary chest is corrupted over. Key. Mm, another chest over there. Pretty yellow one. And this thing. Let's go ahead and look. I, to find oh, I have to find the moon, moon seal, seal first. Where did I find the last moon seal? Did that come from uh, when I got the dolls? I'm not sure. Alright, now do I have a waypoint? Yes, ever flowing glade. Okay. Go back around this way. Wanda's journal. April 9th, 2020. I've made a terrible mistake. My powers are growing stronger and I'm losing control. But that isn't the worst of it. I went to the reflecting pool today to try to search for guidance, but Kathan, he heard me, and I felt I felt a strange connection to him. I broke away as fast as I could, but it was like his powers channeled through me, and the ground grew cold and blackened beneath my feet. I thought that I could use what I've channeled from Hepis to push it back, but I'm so, so tired. Well, Wanda's channeling Elder Gods out here. Ooh, there we go. Found another little secret. Common chest no longer require an arcane key. Wow. And an arcane key. Alright, so we don't get to see anything, but we got some stuff. What if I do it here? No. There must not be anything here. Where did I just see a common chest? That was here. So like to my right, it's like over in that graveyard. I'm gonna go down this way. Ah. Dryad Saddle. All right, let's light up some eyes. You have to pay respects. It's our third statue. I wonder if the fourth one is accessible or if it's behind the next. If I remember correctly, Bloodgate. This is the grave of Will Walker, a notoriously vicious but effective vampire hunter. <laughs> Blade would have liked him. So I don't know how to get through these walls. I can try. The goddess disagrees. Alright, there's a little stuff over here. Let's check it out. Tarot card, the Emperor. The Chala, Black Panther, stands guard before the different regions he battled. For the title of Black Panther, this card represents ambition and leadership and a protection over one's home. Encyclopedia Decoctio. Careful where you brew these potions, they will stink up your entire house. Major skill essence and a vial of shadows. Epic recipe book. Wow. Feels epic. I wonder if those recipes are I can actually make in the cauldron. I do have the Agatha's cauldron. I don't have the forge upgrade. I've researched it but never built it. Because I didn't want to spend 100 credits on the ability to spend more things on consumable things. 
Alright, let's go this way. Wow. Alright, I guess that's a little dead end here. In that case... Maybe I will go back up to the graveyard and see what it feels like to open a common chest for free. Yeah. Free stuff. Daughter of Limbo, whole face prop, more stuff. Alright, let's just look at it. It looks like a bunch of Hunter Cosmetics and then something for magic. All in the face, huh? Nope. 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 Definitely no, definitely, definitely nope. And for her, we got a hero pa a palette, right? Oh, do I have this? Why do I have this? I don't know, but I don't like it. It's kind of cool. I kind of don't like this. Because whenever she's on a dark background, her legs disappear. And you just have this weird colored shape. I feel like that's an issue. I mean, the yellow might exacerbate it. But that's like her new mutants colors. You can't just trash that. I mean, this is the actual new mutants outfit. No, I hate this, unfortunately. All right. Do I change her to red, though? 75 bucks? Nah. Alright. I think I'm done here. I uh, got more common chests. Tempted to just run down and check them all out. So if I go out of the graveyard and follow the road... I'll get to another common chest. Let's do that. I'll have to follow the correct road. Let's see. Is this the road? Yes. It's going to curve to my left. And then just keep going. Oh, and there's a bunch more of this symbol around. I could go... Do all the things. Come on, let me walk between the tree and the stick. Moon, common hole, head truck thing. Alright, alright, let's look at everything. All for Hunter. Oh, different spots now moon I like moons okay there's something I'm interested in doesn't match why doesn't it match I'm gonna get it but I would like to know why it doesn't match Ah, oh, it's like the gambit thing. No. Does it override it? She can't have the hood on if she has this thing on? Alright. Face sigil. 
Sigil 15. Ah, that's kind of cool. Sure. Only 25. Now I can choose the color. I'll have to pay for the color. Matches her lipstick. Purple is fun. Yellow matches the... Well, it doesn't. It's the wrong yellow to match. White pops pretty well. Why is silver 200? Because they're shiny? Silver and gold are shiny? I think the white is my favorite and it's the cheapest. I do like purple though. I mean, I'd like to think that at some point I'll be able to make a cool costume for her. Put together something I like. Uh, I think I'm for now I'm going to do white because it's the cheapest and I like it. Red's pretty good with her lipstick, but nothing really matches the rest of her outfit. Again, probably want to change her outfit at some point, but... Yeah, her hat hood does not match. Even it doesn't switch with the color palettes or anything. Can I change the... Head prop. Where did I pick... Is it a face prop? I forgot which category it's in. Boy. Oh, here's the color. Okay. Alright, so this is the trim. So I can make it match. I could do white. Or I could do white hood. No, I'm not done. Hmm. I think I want black. I wish I could see her at like a distance rather than like zoomed in. And I don't have gold here. Oh, here's gold, but it's only 25. Kind of matches. I think the white is less flashy. Alright, yeah, there's some upgrades. I like it. And I guess if I did change a color scheme, then I could change the hood colors to match it. But I'm good for now. Now I do wonder what if, her, what if her eye things were gold now. But I'm not gonna mess with that. Where's our next common chest? That's free. There's one here. I think that's like through this wall. Let's just teleport to the blood gate. And then go in. Yeah. Is this the fastest way? Oh, yep, there it is. Or 
Ornate Chandelier. Healing Salve. Alright. Next. Over here. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, that's just my rods. They're all in place. Where's the chest? Oh, the chest is over here. I remember this chest. More colors. Okay. Here's one. And an epic one. Wait, is it? Gotta turn to my left and walk down that path. This way? Oh, I'm at this arcane chest. Yeah, going the right way at least. I guess I can set objectives, can't you? I forgot to do that. Toggle waypoint. There we go. That's a nice feature. Woo! More face sigils. All right, and was it one more here? Let's do this one. And just run there. Just the witch sticks. Ooh. I don't even know if I noticed that one before. The son of Gaia. Ah, just a key. Alright. I want like a crazy cutscene or something. It's like glowing up to the sky. Rare stuff. A focusing lens. Select a hero to taunt an enemy. Alright. Right now we got three glowing guys. One of them left. And there are two common chests in the abbey. Let's stop by Agatha's altar here. Shrine. Supposed to be a cup at some point. Am I looking in the wrong place for that? Agatha's shrine. She said to look for, like, the bowl. Well, this is Agatha's altar. Maybe it's supposed to be at the altar. But no, I was just here. There's no cup here either. I'm supposed to be able to, like, make offerings, I think, but I don't know how or when or why I can't yet. But I just noticed a lot of Wolfsbane. Oh, and there was a symbol up here, wasn't there? No. There's a symbol somewhere nearby. Oh, here, this bridge. The son of Gaia approves. Now I can go out onto this little area. It's another haven. Please. Secluded pillar. Oh, another tarot card. The hanged man. Bucky is restrained by Hydra but waits patiently for the right moment to break free from the prison in his world and his mind. This card represents letting go of that which cannot be controlled and adaptation. 11 out of 22. Halfway there. This is a rare 
I'll go ahead and open that. Epic Hunter Quarters schematic. Epic Hunter Quarters schematic. Iron Man colors. And something else I didn't have time to read. I should take like a screenshot every time I get stuff and then I can actually read it all. That'd be nice. Screenshot. That's a good idea. Enjoy the view. Alright, I know there are more things that I haven't opened yet. Let's just stop by the shop. I don't remember what this is. Oh, this shop. I doubt there's any mystical symbols in there for me to reveal. But yeah, I know there's more revelations to be had. I just don't remember where all of them were, and I've just done a bunch of exploring. Is it getting light out? Been walking around at night too long. I might save that for another time. Let's go back. Where am I? I'm close enough to the abbey that I'll just walk. Back. Open a couple more common chests. Palette, healing salve, and a face prop. Another of those. And one more. Just around the corner there. Sigil 28 or 18. And as long as I keep opening these chests in the abbey. If they re assuming they reset at the same time as other common chests, I'll know when to go back out and open them all again. So nobody wants to hang out. I don't remember. At least you're disciplined. Why? Not everyone can get past that part. Did you hang out last episode? On pursuit of the dark arts, but I remember when I maybe it was a club meeting. I think it's telling that not even Hydra wants to mess with Staten Island. I just heard a cat. Is that in this video game? Was that a video game cat? What's up? If so, I would like to pet it. Privet, Hunter. Privet. Konnichiwa, friendo. Konnichiwa. Well, you're definitely a hard worker. I'll give you that. Oh, he's got that voice modulation on without a suit. That's impressive. Anything down here? Some symbols. Triangle, star, diamond with a dot, and pizza. Oops. Didn't mean to do a midnight lounge. I needed that. Another dark balance? Is that because I lounged at night? Weird. I was checking to see if these symbols were the same as the ones I just saw by the lounging area, but they're not. Maybe it was like a clue of what order they needed that to be in. But something. I still don't even know how to move them anyway. I mean, I guess the one on the right could be the triangle. The second one there is the slice of pizza, obviously. I don't know which one would be the star. Yeah, I don't know. They don't seem to match. Might be time for bed. Although I could check out some of my other room upgrades that are available. Need to check out the library. Thought I heard a cat, so...
like that's the most likely place to find the cat. No floaty mounts that I've seen. No cat. Any good books? So no little pop-up of arcane knowledge, which means I've read that before. Oh, steal a candle. Please. There we go. I'm going to check the cauldron just to see all my new recipes here and what my ingredient situation looks like. So, 35 out of 10 and 35 out of 10, greater healing salve, 50%. That's better than 33%. I'm going to go ahead and make one. Strength tonic, 11 out of 10, wolfsbane, 23 out of 5, witch hazel. It's almost all my wolfsbane. Give somebody strength and vulnerable. Give somebody counter. I actually kind of like this one. Iron Oak Charm. Lock for each enemy targeting them. Okay, what else? Oh, and I can just make essences. But it doesn't show my current essence inventory. I can make common gifts and rare gifts. Transmutation. I can make a palette. I can make a color palette. For whom? It doesn't even say who's going to benefit from that. Alright, I'm going to make this no, this, 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 this. 50%. And I'm going to make this counter card. Not even using half of those two ingredients. I don't love consumables, but I have the ingredients for them. I don't want to feel like I have to run around and pick up stuff, but I do like picking up stuff when I see it. Alright, bedtime. Oh no, first, of course, again. Where's Charlie? Gotta check. What did we unlock? <laughs> A princess bed. Chandelier, sure. Fine armoire. Regal fireplace. Weapons frame. And wall frame C. Actually, I want the weapon frame. It's kind of cool that, like, her weapons are on the wall. So I assume if you unlock more weapons later on, you can change them out. And that'll change what's on the wall there. I don't know why this chandelier kind of cracks me up. I'm getting a chandelier for $60. Alright, that's good. We don't need a princess bed. This is a serviceable room. Pretty good. We might want a picture frame at some point, but I don't really have like a favorite comic cover or anything that we've made. One more thing. I'm going to check this gift box. See if there's a gift I can pick up. No. Again, this has kind of been a long day. It's been the same day this whole episode so far. 
So I forgot where I was before. I might have already shocked the gift box. What a beautiful morning. So our super link starts buzzing. Alright. Hunter, I have foreseen a bond growing between us. A fortuitous outcome, I assure you. One should always clear one's mind of the errant thoughts seeking to stir up trouble. Though I intend to do so, I would rather wait until we can share the silence. He really wants to hog my time, huh? Ah, this is exactly what I needed. A chance to quiet my cluttered mind and just... be. What thoughts clutter your mind, Doctor? Ever since the Sanctum was lost, I felt a bit adrift. Lost in a cosmic sea in which I've lost my ability to navigate. I've been giving a lot of thought to the direction my life will take if we survive your mother's apocalypse, but... Who am I if I'm not Sorcerer Supreme? An Avenger. Sorcerer Supreme or not, you are still an Avenger. But is that all I am? All I want to be? Perhaps this is what you should meditate on. Yes, that's a bright idea. Thank you for still having faith in me even when I've lost faith in myself. You are proving to be a most unexpected friend. Friendship level up. 50% chance to generate a heroism each turn. So I think that was the passive I was hoping for, why I wanted to max his friendship. But it didn't really click with me. It's not going to be relevant unless I bring him on the mission, and I haven't been doing that. I don't really like his abilities so far. Most of them just feel like they're not worth a card play. Card, whatever, but the you only get three card plays per turn. So, anyway. Midnight common palette for Doctor Strange. That could be kind of cool looking, although it's got a classic red, yellow, blue look. Oh, now, we, yeah, we can see out the window now. Very nice. What is our current light balance? I know we hit a particular threshold. Oh, she's got her hood on and her sigil face on now. Looking good. More customization. Oh yeah, we did just unlock a bunch more stuff. I may as well look at it. Uh, nope. Oh, we got more sigils. Well, this is the one that she's got on, so may as well just match it. Actually, maybe not. Hmm. Starting to see the appeal of the silver. So I'm like that's what a night wolf looks like for Mortal Kombat, but no, let's let's skip the sigil for uh, regular daytime wear. We got color palettes galore. All right. Oh, green's kind of cool. Ooh. Ooh, it almost matches what she's already got on her hood, too. Ooh, I like the white. This is called negative? Basic or negative? Or pale wind? I like the pale wind. I like the white look. I think I'm going to adjust her... Hood. 
We got more face sigils. Thought we had more face sigils. Oh, I have to buy it, of course. That one, no. That one, no. That one, that's alright. But no, I'll keep what I've got. And then let's do the hood. I don't know where the hood is. Let's look at this. Diamond? No. Stoic? No. Vigilant? Definitely no. Alright, so where was the hood again? Is that here? Nope. Requires the armory room upgrade in the forge to change weapons. Where's her hood? Oh, it's here. Whole head prop. Moon. So, I want to switch. I want to make this white. And this... Black. Black? It doesn't look quite right. Maybe the hood needs to be light gray instead of white. Nah. Alright. Finally leave our bedroom. Now that we've selected our outfit. Didn't hear the bells, but I'm still going to go down the hallway. Nothing going on, no ladder. There's Charlie, make sure we pet her for the day. Good girl, Charlie. Nico wants to talk. Oh, she needs help. Hey, can I ask a favor? Do you ever wonder what life would have been like if all of this wasn't forced on you? You could be out there having fun, making friends, living a normal life? Maybe so, but if we lived normal lives, we never would have met. Six Nico friendship. If I can't have a normal life, but I can protect the normal lives of countless others, then that is a sacrifice I'm honored to take to make. 10 hunter strength increasing knockback distance those are both really good rewards so I don't know how all the systems work like I assume I'm going to be able to max out Nico at some point on friendship anyway but this will accelerate that 10 hunter strength these stats are hard to come by it's probably limited availability of this stuff I guess there's a limited availability of like friendship as well so as soon as she gets maxed out then I can start hanging out with some other people but man I really want the friendship but the knockback strength is so strong I mean, I don't know how much distance it's adding, but like, the hunter does use her knockbacks. Uh. I'm gonna go for uh, role playing reasons. I'm gonna go with the top one. No, never mind. Oh, thanks, I want the hunter. knockback distance. Minor regrets. Ready to fight some crime? I was gonna regret that either way. Man, I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He loved this place. There's my hunter. There's my Iron Man. Carol by the pool. Alright, so I got like a, a, a dark 
alignment for lounging last night. Do I get sunshine alignment for hanging out during the day? Relaxing. No? A ripoff. Alright, who wants to talk? Maybe somebody in Ooh. Here. No. I'm still gonna check on my research. A successful collaboration. Hunter passive abilities. The hunters received a new passive ability. Passive of passives provide powerful benefits in combat. Acquire additional suits to collect more passives. The hunter may swap between available passives. Huh. Gain one resist or generate one heroism at the start of every turn. Well. Yeah. That sounds good. Alright, this is available now. I guess this wasn't before. We got these, but we don't have the the knowledge for it yet. Complete five missions with Iron Man, three out of five. Uh, to be able to make a robotic arm reward from salvaging. Eh. Upgrade four Iron Man abilities to a four. Reroll a card whenever a gamma coil is analyzed. So you get to see a fifth card, like that. Uh, but yeah, we're not there yet, so what do we want to do from here? Upgrade Spider-Man abilities for that, no. Uh, combat suit and passive vengeance. Legendary suits and abilities. I guess I need to bring Robbie more. Hydra enemies can be interrogated. Does that mean I get more intel? Because I do want more intel. Oh, gain more intel when decrypting caches. Run two hero ops at a time. So, I'm going to need to upgrade two more Captain Marvel abilities. For now, let's do this. I don't know what it means Hydra enemies can be interrogated, but I like the sound of it. I need to start bringing Ghost Rider. And I need to... Oh, what is it? I can't read it. Like, I don't know what Vengeance does. But... I need to upgrade Captain Marvel abilities. Alright, let's do this. Oh, wait, can I... No, it doesn't tell me what it does. Alright. Done. Gamma coil analysis. Got more coil for me? Spider-Man Nico Hunter. Genius inventor strikes again. Restore all health exhaust. Is that her or some anybody? Or for everybody? Up here, 52 damage, apply like two weak. Process and take myself out of the loop here. I like that. Wild strike, dark, and another whip. So, what does an upgrade to one of these look like? Oh, it does damage. All right. Um, I'm tempted to just take rares, because especially since I have the ability to craft cards, rare cards are just more valuable. So let's do that. Boop. I'm not super excited about running any of those. I mean, I would upgrade a whip, but I'm, not, I'm okay that I didn't. And if I really wanted to... I could go uh, make a whip right now. Nope, I don't have a blueprint. <laughs> I guess the blueprints are the part that is hard to come by. So I can make the rares because I actually do have rare blueprints, ironically enough. What does an upgraded deadly ground do? 
summon an additional light or dark explosive. Those explosives are growing I'm on me. Happy to help, Hunter. Let's check. Our super link. I didn't check it necessarily. Oh. Vampire double feature night. How about Duchess of the Damned and Shank? And if we're feeling punchy, want to heckle the entire Dusk trilogy? No Shank for me. Other than that, I'm in. Shank is the best cheesy vampire movie ever made. Ever made. Explain yourself. They weaponize garlic. It's dumb. We should bring snacks. I can microwave garlic fries. I'll bring a jar of garlic dipping sauce. Don't worry, Blade. I'll eat your share of the garlic. True heroism at its finest. Look, I don't have a weakness to this stuff. I just hate garlic breath. Wait, I didn't see this. Charlie just did the most adorable thing. I was eating a bowl of ramen and she kept begging for some. First she put her head on my lap. I wouldn't budge, so she kept bringing me little gifts. A leaf shaped like Doctor Strange, a little pillow, and I think one of Robbie's comic books. You guys, she brought me a stick that looks exactly like the staff of one. Oh, I did read this. Alright, let's just read the new post from Global News Repost Bot. Turbulence damages multiple planes in transient airspace. Passengers report seeing strange creatures surrounding the plane. Whoa, the article says flying creatures are pulling wires mid-flight, and airlines are still refusing to ground their planes. You should all be thankful you get to travel air limbo. No corrupt corporations pulling the strings. Limbo, the real mom and pop of travel. Shouldn't it just be mom out of the mom and pop duo? No, I'm powerful enough to be both. Alright, we got new cards for them, but I'm not I'm not changing anything. Oh no. I'll use his new card. Yeah, yeah, I'll use his new card. And I don't think I need this. So we're going to play three heroics in this Spider-Man deck. And then... I have to choose. Yeah, I don't like this Ivory Collar, so I guess I'm switching. I don't know. Do I get them both? I don't know. More customization? What else did I get? Oh, I got this actual new suit. But no color schemes for it. So no, we'll keep this... What's it called? Whatever this color scheme is called. Pale Wind. Pale wind with the moon. All right. Ah, Hunter, good to see you. Yeah. I should make friends with Iron Man. I haven't hung out with him at all. I have something for you. Oh. oh, more emo kid stuff? Here you are. <coughs> Wonderful. We can use it in the ritual. 50 attack essence? Stop it. Stop taking all my stuff. So much. It's like two cards. Let me check on this. Make sure there's no bowl. Now that it's the next day. Also, maybe the altar, just in case that's where it's supposed to be. Still no bowl. Oh no. The bowl is supposed to come from. Is that open? I'm running all the way back. It 
what the? Do I have a waypoint toggled? Alright, let's talk. Oh, talk to her already. Talk to caretaker. Let's well, open. What is wrong? Is it that obvious? I used to be able to hide my feelings from you. Very. What is wrong? I found myself thinking how thrilled Agatha will be to see you again. Then, as always, I remembered she's gone. You know, I used to be able to hide my feelings from you. She said that. You do not have to do that anymore. I need to know what you are thinking. No, you're too important for me to distract you with selfish thoughts. Grieving for Agatha is not selfish. And I miss her as well. I know. She would be so proud of the person you have become. <sighs> I should get back to work, and so should you. And here she is. In the library. Hmm? Hmm? I wonder what does this say now that I've opened that next bloodgate. The church. I discovered the remains of Hiram Shaw's old church on the grounds today. Even writing that name makes me uncomfortable. I couldn't bring myself to step inside that cursed place. But I intend to explore the area nearby. There must be some reason that it's left untouched. I would have raised it to the ground. Alright. So go back and check out the church again, I suppose. Why, hello, Hunter. What are the heroes glowing for? Oh, just Nico's glowing because she's got a new card. She's got this passive. One third chance to draw a card. If she's at full health. Whenever a Nico card is played. Restore all health. Exhaust. I don't know, man. So can target somebody. And if it were upgraded, we wouldn't discard it if they had less than 50% health. What if I want to discard it? I don't want to double heal. Card is not appealing to me. I actually prefer blood magic, but I could have an upgraded blood magic and a restore. What does an upgraded one do? Draw one of their cards. <coughs> I don't need one of their cards. I already get six cards every turn. I need the ability to play more cards, not draw more cards. Maybe I should craft another Witchfire just so I can just have a fully upgraded Witchfire kit. That is tempting. It's an attack, though. I don't know how much attack essence I have. Blood, magic, counter, fast, or strengthened. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I don't know. Um... Oh wait, I need to go craft. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have two upgraded witch fires. The 
Forge is a powerful tool. I have 130. Okay, I still have enough, though. Here we go. All right, now we're talking. Oh, but now I actually have to upgrade it, too. So I need enough attack essence for that. Good day, Hunter. Jeez, and I just gave magic, like, 100 or something. 50, I don't know. Oh, this way. Let's see what we can do. Ability upgrades. Ready to work? Witch fire. Cost 60 out of 105. Boom. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop me now. Oh, training level increase. Topple and falling trap training. Topple and falling trap objects deal increased damage. I also would like to upgrade this card. I guess. Can't wait to try this out. Spider-Man. What can I upgrade for him? Spider Sense? Gain one resist. That's a lot I better. Think we've got something for everyone. That's tempting. That's a lot better. I wanna do it. Um yep. In part because I get more training levels awesome. too. Can't wait to see how this goes down. And then for magic, what do we have? On KO gain a counter? Gather increased area of effect. I have a lot of heroic essence. Alright, I'm going to upgrade these. Oh, that's an attack. Oh, cutting into my attack essence. The reason I'd be reluctant about this one is I might actually want two gathers. Don't stress it too much. There's no I haven't played with her yet, but I'm going to do it anyway. A powerful improvement. If I really need it, I get more later. Alright. Daily sparring. I have $140. Friendship and an arcane key. Spider-Man's unavailable because he's injured. Nico and Magic are unavailable because I've sparred with them recently. Let's do Iron Man. Oh, well, my friendship levels with these people are pretty low. I mean, Nico and Doctor Strange are two. <sighs> Captain Marvel. I need a refresher on what do I need to do. I guess I can show you a couple of things. For my research stuff. I need to bring Oh yeah, she looks good in all white. I like it. I need to bring Ghost Rider and I need to upgrade Iron Man cards. Another upgrade. Vaulting deals increased damage. Next is explosive. So I guess I think we've seen these before, so they're just like cycling through. Yard upgrades. Combat therapy. Oh, I need 125. I just spent my money on the stupid <coughs> thing. I had planned for that too. It's just been a few days since I played. I wanted to build this. I just spent my money on sparring. I need $10. I don't know. There's nothing I can sell for dollars, is there? This stuff can be disenchanted, salvaged for essences, but not credits. Dang. Why is this the only combat item showing? Didn't I just find a bunch of other stuff? I also made the one thing. What's happening to my combat items? I made the thing that gives counter. In addition to finding other stuff. Maybe it heard me talking trash about them. Consumables. I 
I don't want this card. It's bad. All right, where are we at? What are we doing next? Gift. Open gift shop. Magic for normies. Rare. If you suffer from magical friends, then this book will help you understand why they act the way that they do. Remember, you're the normal one. I'll take it. Remember, you're the normal one. So who's that for? Somebody who doesn't really use magic. Maybe Spider-Man. What's up, Hunter? I mean, Robbie uses magic technically by being the avatar of the spirit of vengeance. But he's not like a wizard or sorcerer. He's not a witch. Who would want to read that book? Blade? I don't know that he needs... Hey. No. I mean, I guess Spider-Man. Am I going to be friends with Spider-Man? Alright, let's go pick a mission. Oh, do we want to do ops? Where's my... What's my ops sta status? Oh, we sent Doctor Strange on an op. Winds of Watum, knockback, quick, enhanced with three heroism, forceful knockback. Sending your friends out to fight isn't the easiest choice. Does that mean you have to spend three heroism just to turn knockback into forceful knockback? I mean, I guess it gives you one, but it's going to give you one if you just don't use the enhanced part. I don't know. I guess I have to try out the enhanced thing to see how that works, but paying three heroism just to turn knockback into forceful knockback does not sound very good. Knockback quick is a combo I like. Operation successful. Dr. Strange found our Hydra asset. His name is Bob Dabalina, and he has, to date, filmed 128 publicly accessible vlog entries about his time as a Hydra employee. How he has done so without the Hydra retaliation is unknown. Though not a reliable double agent, Doctor Strange believes the asset's egregious security breaches could alert us to local Hydra activity. We will keep an eye on Hydra Bob. So I wonder if that's the... I mean, it must be the classic Hydra Bob from Deadpool fame. Alright, I've got no intel. So, expires in two days. If I can get some intel, that would be great. I also need credits. See you soon. Let's take a look at the mission table. All right, so two new ones. Uh, I forget how do you tell. Well, this is the story mission. Requires Iron Man. Has some rare rewards. This one is hard. Gives credits and a gamma coil. Gamma coil and artifact. Gamma coil and intel cache. This one looks very tempting. And this one is gamma coil and blueprints. So, this has rare rewards, does not have hard difficulty, and it has the intel that I need. So, I think this is going to be the one. We have to bring Nico, which is perfectly fine with me. To spend four intel that I don't have to get some gloss. It is a hard pass. Not only because I can't, but because if I did, I wouldn't. If I could, I wouldn't. Bring Hunter. I mean, even when I don't have to bring Hunter, it just feels so... I mean, I guess I don't need my most powerful character. But as long as I keep leveling her, she carries everybody else on the team as well. But maybe we do Ghost Rider Iron Man. Ghost Rider... Well, here's some more items. How many items can I bring? Like three, right? Or do I have a max of one for some reason? 
when I press spacebar during combat, there's like a three different nodes pop up, which makes me think I could have up to three. But maybe I have a max of one. So I guess this is where we're at for now. Maybe slots unlock later. I need to make more Iron Man cards. I get no friendship for this because Hunter's not coming. But I'm making progress toward my lab requirements. We're a little bit heavy on heroism costs between Iron Man and Ghost Rider. But Nico has the one in power that can give us nice combo turns. So we'll try it. I'm going to go. But for you, it'll just be a second. And here we go. Defeat all enemies. Hydra's goons are getting a little too comfortable for my liking. I think it's time you took them down a notch. I see what you're talking about. Right, this is our first encounter with Nico wearing some more of her basic plain clothes outfit instead of that crazy skin I bought. But I like this white look, so letting her take turns between outfits. We got one, two, three, four. Three minions. One, two, three guys. No, two guys with 73 health. One big boy with armor and 131. Got a couple barrels. A couple little blocks. A variety of stuff. All right, we don't need to heal anybody right now. Let's redraw that. Hmm, hero combo. Double your heroism. No, we don't have any of that. I'm gonna dump that as well. Flash. Alright, I was really interested to see if I would get Nico's Empower Plus. Swarm for 84 seems okay. That's a uh, one shot. Hero combo for 106. It's not that much more than 84. I mean, it's like 25% more, but for three extra heroism, I don't know. But I guess the difference is Nico is level 9, Iron Man is 6, and Ghost Rider is 6. And this is a Iron Man Ghost Rider combo. This might not even be worth playing. Nico's cards are going to be stronger. Alright, so we, I use both my redraws, so I can't add knockback, but I can quickly take out a minion. Forceful knockback in any direction. I can take out two minions. Ghost Rider takes 28 damage. Hellmouth makes a drop. So I'm tempted to like Quick Blast, Hellmouth, Lash, Swarm. Yeah, that's probably the best. Uh, I can also use my shove to maybe shove somebody into the knockback or attempt to do so. So I wonder, Hellmouth, if I do this. Oh, wait, work like here? Oh, you can't put it under anybody. I wonder if Iron Man shoved. Can't quite shove into that guy, but we can shove into this guy. Which does damage to everybody. Might just do that right off the bat. Kind of fun. I don't think you're supposed to be fighting on our level yet. Let's take this out. I'm saving my I heard Lilith is kind of hot. 
Any of you dorks make a move yet? Let's swarm this. I'll give it a whirl. She's really coming out over here out of the way, huh? Pretty good. Oh, and we got in another one. Draw a card. 33% chance after playing a Neo Nico card. If she's at full health, draw a card, but it's not going to change anything. And then we can Hellmouth. Can I make it like in between them? Or does it make sense to put it like behind them? Cause you want to knock them into it, right? Or maybe if I put it here and throw somebody into the barrel, then they might fall in also. This doesn't quite hit that lower health guy. It doesn't hit either of those guys. It only hits the one armored guy. That's dumb. We're all in a little pocket over here now. Well, I guess make put it behind them then. I'm not sure the mechanics of how all this works, so I'm kind of experimenting. I don't know, let's see how this works. Ripping the floor open with a portal to hell. Now I can drain soul. Chain two, life seal. Give all drain soul cards plus one chain and plus one heroism cost. Let's hold off for now. So I'm thinking of throwing this guy into this guy. Oh, but then neither of them has a chance to drop. Or I could just give them a 39% chance to drop. I was hoping to, like, throw them into it and then have a chance to drop also. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna do that anyway. Kinda want my shove back, but... Did some good work, too. Thirty-nine percent chance. That's not, not enough of a chance, is it? We all took twenty-eight damage. Oh, that's the conceal guy. Okay. Uh, I have an item. I'm not using that. Okay. So I'm done. He's locking on to Ghost Rider. Made him vulnerable. Oh, and he's concealing himself. Oh, wow. I'm not really drawing very many cards here. I had a pretty full hand. Who's protected? Ooh, Witchfire. Wait, who's protected? Iron Man's Days 2. First for Marked. It's pretty good. Can't target him. But I can throw somebody into him. Which fire four times? What are my odds? So this guy would get taken out. This guy would not. This guy would. This guy would not. Would, would. So what is that? One, two, three, four. Yes to no. If I could hit this guy for 21 damage, he would then be witch fire range, but I don't think I can hit him. He's invisible. 
I could lash somebody into him. This guy. Drain Soul wouldn't work because I can't target him. But I do want to kill him because he's targeting Ghost Rider who is vulnerable right now. Let's try lashing. Oh, I'm immune to knockback, so I can't throw him. Aw, oh, man. Right, maybe I don't want this hero combo. Even if I had it available. Eh, I don't know. 106. I mean, it's not nothing compared to Nico cards. Maybe I just want to try to draw more Nico cards. Chain 2, Lifesteal. Well, that's the Empower. Can use some heroism to, um, like maybe we just blow this thing up. That'll hit that guy and make him not concealed anymore. Yeah. Wait, can he do it? Or he can't do it. Why can't he do it? Just blow it up. You have to like throw somebody into it? What about, can Nico blow it up? I feel like I've blown it up before. You asked for it. Why can she do it, but he couldn't? All right, so the concealed guy should be visible. Oh, is it whenever he takes damage? When attacked. So 50% chance that he becomes Sealed again. I don't know if that makes him immune to witch fire. Isn't Dr. Faust's one of the times? Huh, you guys might be accessories, you know. Uh Dang it, dang it. Alright, I wanna redraw the empower or this lash. This lash is not doing much for me. Alright. I'll ride for 84. I gotta witch fire first though. Let's witch fire. You shouldn't have me. Cross your fingers for me. Okay. Okay. Four. Alright. <laughs> you tempt an eternity in hell with that staff. Well, all rides looking pretty good. This, if we take this guy out, we get a refund on card plays. But the only way we're taking him out is with Hell Ride, and if we Hell Ride, we have no more cards. Hundred sixty-seven. Does Hell Ride hurt my friends? No. So just be the big guy left up. Oh, I would have no card plays left. And or I'd have one card play refunded, but I have no cards left. Fourteen, twenty-eight damage. I can't even target him anyway. So I think I just have to hell ride. Waste the marked.
Card play refunded. You do not have any cards. Alright, just the one guy left. I don't know if we can do 83 more damage to him, though. One heroism. So we can vault. Iron Man can shove him. But not into the pit. And he's not really close to anything else. Wonder Nico could shove him toward this thing and then blow it up. Or maybe Ghost Rider could. Let's see. What is that area of effect showing? What is that circle? Is there some other thing I could be doing? What is the... What was that big area of effect circle showing up? Very weird. All right, I'm gonna throw him over here. I wonder if I could have knocked him to Iron Man for damage. But this will be some damage anyway. Here's one for you. No more heroism, so I'm done. That closes, unfortunately. Didn't really use that. Oh, and he was vulnerable too. Dang. What's Robbie's health looking like now? The spirit grows low, relatively low. Rich fire again, 84. Let's see, 63, 73. Let's just do that. Should be the end of it. That's probably my favorite card. Always makes me smile. I doubt they'll take that beating to heart, but we can always hope. Two stars, not fast enough. Well, she gets the front position here. Hydra gone wild in Manhattan. That was a quick mission. We're home! Hello! We are the champions! Alright, 2 out of 4 with Ghost Rider, 4 out of 5 with Iron Man, we can pet Charlie. Good girl, Charlie. We always dodge that lick just in time. Something out there, huh? We have a club meeting tonight? Let's scope out the little chapel. Can't skip that. Nothing as usual. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, Hunter. Good to see you. Good to see you. We got plenty of hangouts available. So maybe no meetings. Yes. Thinking I do. Thinking about making friends with Iron Man. I really like that combo deck with Nico and Empower. So I want to buff up his. Combat stats, see if he has a passive or something. Hola. Alright, let's do it. What does Iron Man like to do? Fishing? Pool lounging, probably. Sounds like a Playboy billionaire activity. 
So, you've been dead? Yes. What's on the other side? Of death? Yes, blazing trumpets, fiery pits, Thor's backyard. Where did you end up? The barking was endless. Wagging tails stretched to the horizon. But after my death, I learned that all dogs really do go to... I'm going to stop you right there, boss. See if Corgi was not on my afterlife bingo card. Uh, I have a betting pool going on which religion was, you know, right. I was really hoping you could give me an edge. I guess you will have to figure it out for yourself. Let's hope that's in many, many years. A gift for Iron Man. Does he want 18 year aged root beer? Sure. Well, I had a blast. Hope you did too. He loved the activity. He liked the common gift. I don't know if you can get better than liked on a common gift, but. Got a new Iron Man base layer common Abbey outfit and long sleeve red and black common Abbey outfit for the hunter. What's our Iron Man friendship level at, anyway? All those people were just hanging out waiting for us to choose them. We chose Tony. Gave him our rose. Scouting for floaty moats, of course. Hmm. Maybe I should check out those cosmetics I just picked up. Credits. That's what we wanted. How many did we get? Nine? I need like 25 though. What is this? Hiram Shaw's old church. Still our target. Need something, dear? I can steal that plant again. No kitty cats. Veneration of the Elder Gods. Bowl of Offering. The chalice in her full glory. Humble yourself before her and present a chalice pure to drink of her blessings. check out these new outfits real quick so I want to change Iron Man's home outfit it looks the same the tech tuxedo Is that an inside joke I don't like the pants with the belt look Let's just give him some variety. And then for oh we got new combat outfit options too. Oh just a new color scheme. Looks the same. I mean it's obviously not the same. There's more red, but I'm um, okay. And for Hunter, pretty sure I'm going to keep emo kids, but just out of curiosity. 
All right, where are we going? Talk to Blade. You look like you are on the hunt. It's that scent again. Almost feels familiar somehow. I was hoping you and Charlie might give it another go. You down? Who would miss a chance to hunt with Blade? I'm flattered. Now meet me out by that creepy ass church. Is Charlie following me? I'm gonna, um, save. Had some crashes that I don't know if it was Charlie's fault, but when she's following me, it is questionable. Tell me, Blade, have you found any other unusual creatures during your pursuit of the Bargast? See, All right, where are we going? Birds hanging around the training yard, but I haven't decided if they're real yet. Charlie's my waypoint, huh? As opposed to, I'm not sure. The way things operate around here, they could be an illusion, some kind of familiar, a robotic drone. And what makes you so suspicious? Just like this thing we're after. They don't smell right. Found it. It's like someone made what they thought a bird smelled like without ever having smelled a bird. I will have to take your word for it. Damn thing got away again. We may need some help. Not so mysterious now, huh? Maybe Hunter should have used her whip. It's that green pillar. We should head back. This place gives me the creeps. And that ain't easy to do. You coming? Let us get out of here. I wonder about that green pillar of light. Can I can't see it from here, I got oh there. Can I get there from here? Probably just like the Cathan altar of corruption thing. I don't even know where it is anymore. I'm just not way over there. Oh no! Didn't I build this bridge? Does it disappear again? Can't do it from this side. Autumn thinks otherwise. I have to go through the temple. I did this. Autumn does not answer. Here we go. Autumn reveals all. Huh. And then I lit up this face. Oh, there's a plant. I'll take it. One Wondegore Everbloom, please. So is Mount Wondegore in Transia? Because I always thought Wanda Maximoff was from Mount Wondegore. They've been saying that she's from Transia. Which I don't know I've heard of. How do I get down there? Is this the church? Have I been down there? Whoops. Skipping mushrooms. Something oh. terrible happened here. I haven't been here. I just saw a purple box. Is it back there? 
go around back. Where'd the purple box go? Oh, paper. Wanda's Journal, April 4th, 2020. What a strange place this is. So much terrible history and so much corruption. But the energy here draws me in. Maybe it longs to be cleansed of the evil of Hiram Shah. After all, this was once a place of peace and community before, before everything. I found a page of a journal from back then written by Shaw himself. I almost thought the page could have some kind of bad energy, but it was just a piece of paper in the end. Although it's made me wonder about what I know to be true around here. I trust Caretaker and Agatha completely, but I'm starting to think that I don't know as much as they've let me believe. Six of eight Wanda pages. Moonflowers. Ooh, the Weeders rare masterwork. What's that? I want this thing. It's drawing of weeds. All right, there's a blue box. Rare. Maybe this is the one I saw. Let's open it. Healing salve, visor rare upper face prop, neighborhood common palette, other stuff. More palettes. Right, now let's go in the church. It's kind of spooky. I'm kind of scared to go in. This area, it feels wrong somehow. I sense an old suffering. Members of the local coven were persecuted here. And worse. Witches? Salem's history with witches may have been distorted over the years, but some things are true. The witches of Salem did their best to thwart Shaw, but he rallied his congregation against them. The catalyst of the infamous Salem Witch Trials. When the coven called out in distress, it was Lilith and Sarah who came to their aid. They came all the way from Transia, with the Abbey, to help a group they had never met? You may not believe it, but I'm sure you would have done the same. Isn't that why the Sons are here today? Aside from that, your mother and Sarah both saw the signs of Cathan's influence. They knew there was more happening in Salem than the persecution of witches. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World, just like the colonists themselves. And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondergore who brought it to the coven with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock by placing the blame squarely on the coven. And the witches? The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. If this was his church, then it is possible the seal is still here, or somewhere nearby. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. All right. Was this always here? I may have forgotten a few things, but I feel as if I would remember a decrepit church on the grounds. You may not remember the structure, but maybe you've heard of the man responsible for it? Hiram Shaw? Uh-huh. This was his house of worship, and like a great many things on the grounds, Sarah preferred to keep it in a sort of mystic quarantine. Even I haven't been inside. 
Is that all she did while I slept? Seal things off for our protection? She can be overzealous at times, but in this case, she was right to be wary. So what dark secret does this place hold? When Hiram Shaw first came to Salem, he was little more than a charlatan posing as a preacher. He managed to convince a few desperate souls to join his congregation, and with their help he broke ground on this church. Whether it was coincidence or fate, in digging beneath the church, Shaw found something that would change the course of all of our lives. A long-forgotten page of the Darkhold. If Shaw found a page of the Darkhold, it was because Cathan wanted it that way. I tend to agree. That cursed book is always seeking out a way to return its master to power. And a power-hungry preacher makes for the ideal messenger of darkness. Yes, Shaw was an eager study, consumed almost immediately by the whisperings of Cathan and the Darkhold's power. Nearly overnight, the people of Salem old and new were at his threshold, waiting for the word. Oh, she's got a lot to say. I'm in. I will say, I wonder, I mean, I like learning about all the history, but I hope the history becomes part of the story as it continues. You know, like you can find like clues from the past, but I hope it's not just clues. I hope there's like actual, I don't know what I exactly I mean by that, but just like, I'll be happy to learn about all the history, even if none of it ever comes up again. But it'd be a lot more satisfying if it does. Never a dull moment. Tell me about Hiram Shaw. By all accounts, Hiram Shaw was a desperate man. Desperate for power, wealth, influence, the usual desires that cloud men's minds. As I understand it, he was a largely unsuccessful minister before his arrival at Salem, traveling from place to place. Swindling whatever followers he managed to gain before being run out of town. To think that a simple man like Shaw finding a piece of the Darkhold was enough to set all of this in motion. It puts things in perspective. What do you know about my father? That's not an easy question, dear. What would you like to know? Was he a good man? Yes, I think he was. Your mother loved him dearly, and he doted over her. I think for a time she forgot who she was, where she came from, and I don't mean that as a bad thing. She and Sarah both deserve to find something more than just another fight with Cathan. Lilith did, Sarah didn't, at least not for a while longer still. I honestly think that's the only thing she ever had against him, blood or not. I'm still Until confused about the again. whole timeline. Alright, let's try to blast it open. Hmm. The church. More churchy stuff. And these books have just been sitting here for a while, huh? I guess they've been somewhat magically preserved. Journal of Hiram Shaw, 1694. I was wrong to let my heart linger on the thoughts of Lilith. She and her foul sister are worse than I could have imagined. She has even corrupted a man from my congregation to her cause. These women have more influence than that coven. Even without their roots in the village, my congregation this size falters. I raise my hands to Cathan nightly, crying out for guidance. Three of twelve, Hiram Shaw's journal. It's just a blank wall. She 
Journal of Pyram Shah, 1694. This scroll contains more influence than I initially perceived, for it is not merely power within, but corruption beyond my wildest imaginations. For each mark upon the land, a page could have been traced to its location, aligned to a person of power who handled fragments of the blasphemous tome. I have come to believe that the dark and destructive events that plague this land are not the chronological rhythms fate has set in motion, but the dark holds sway. So, he knows that it's evil. So what happened? Cauldron Mixology Recipe Book, Fury Totem, Greater Strength Tonic. Ooh, well this is just outside. Alright. Let's push on through. Ew. Noble Oshtor guides my hand. Creepy. So what symbol is this? There must not be anything here. There's definitely something here. The goddess must be busy. Hunter's Journal. Cold depths of winter challenge us all. I'm grateful for Agatha and her control of the elements, especially fire, on these dark days. It is hard to believe that even with the threat of Lilith looming, the cold and hunger can draw up so much of our energy. Agatha brings me to her altar to train now and says that by the end of the winter I will also be a master of the elements. I look forward to that day, if only to leave the snow behind us. That version of the hunter I would have a lot more fun with. The elemental hunter rather than the light or dark hunter. This is the one I saw backyard here. Obsidian Athem me. Select a hero. Don't discard their next played hero card. Discard the rest of your hand instead. Sure. Interesting. Alright, we got a very creepy ritual thing going on over here. There's like a whole creepy ritual yard. Oh, tarot card, the Hierophant. Professor X channels his power to raise the knowledge necessary to be shared with his pupils, and he holds in his hands the key to understanding. This card represents guidance and wisdom from a teacher. 12 of 22. Journal of Hiram Shaw it pains me to set these words to page, for my cause is righteous. Any admittance of weakness I find unfathomable, but I must treat them with the most... Oh, but I must tread with the utmost care. The whispering secret specters intensify, testing my will at every turn. This page, I've come to realize that it is responsible for the corruption of not only the souls of man, but the destruction of entire civilizations throughout history. Today, it is the people of Salem that suffer. So, he got the Darkhold page. It lured him in. It corrupted him. He knew it was evil. But as it tends to be the way with the Darkhold... He was unable to escape its corruption. So he wasn't necessarily evil to begin with. He might have been a charlatan, but certainly became evil through its influence. Okay. All right, now we got a little something going on here. Another witch sign. Inspect. This ward is not like anything I have seen on the grounds before. And yet, it's familiar somehow. Like the wards of protection that Wanda invoked to protect Doctor Strange's sanctum? Very perceptive, dear. Maybe you should approach the good doctor and see if he has any insights. And Hunter, be circumspect. Doctor Strange is no fool. So we're going to try to lure the information out of him, huh? Alright. Wait, do you have more to say? Hmm. Was Wanda here? Did Wanda ever make it to this place? I suspect she did. 
But if she discovered something, she didn't tell me. She must have found something... Goodbye. ...dark. Yeah. Alright, is my waypoint just Doctor Strange now? Yeah. I am here. So I can teleport to Shaw's church now. Let's check this epic chest. Where is it? Still open. Let's check Agatha's altar. I still, there's supposed to be a bowl at some point. I don't know where the bowl is. Maybe it's by her shrine or altar. I don't know. Oh, not here. What is this spot? There's nothing. Let me head back out over this way. Still no bowl. Very confused what I'm doing wrong with the bowl situation. Alright, guess I'll go talk to Doctor Strange then. Where you at? Library, huh? Ah, Hunter, I was just admiring the collection. Someone spent a great deal of time piecing this library together. I hope you don't mind me uh, having a look around. Of course not, Doctor. The library is an asset to us all. I see I'm not the only one who's taken an interest in these works. You haven't been getting into anything precarious, I hope. We... I have found something on the Abbey grounds that I think you should see. Oh, sounds mysterious. By all means, lead the way. Well, we're just taking him to see it. I thought she said we should be subtle and not tell him what's going on. Doctor Strange, level 2 friend. Especially at night. We need to go there, which means we have to go down. Tony nervous, you see. Can you be a little faster, Doctor Strange? Just keep up. You can use your cloak of levitation if you like. Ah. You were right to bring this to my attention, Hunter. I thought it resembled one of your wards of protection. There's a reason for that. It's the same magic Wanda invoked in her attempts to protect the Sanctum. But what is it that you're chasing out here? These wards aren't something to toy with. I will not know for sure until I get past this. Is there any way to dispel it? I mean, you probably put it up for a reason. Unfortunately, no. What good would the wards of protection be if they were so easily broken? But I have been wrong before, at least recently. Do you have any suspicions as to who may have conjured this here? I think Wanda did it. Wanda spent a great deal of time out here, and she had the power. She does have some experience with these spells, but why would she do that? The only way I will know for sure is to find a way through to the other side. I'll think on it and see if I can come up with some way to assist you, Hunter. For now, though, you'll have to be patient. All right, that's it for now, I guess. Maybe, uh, maybe Wanda found the moon 
thingy. And it, it had been corrupted by the Darkhold. So she was starting down the line of corruption and was keeping it hidden from everyone else. And then when Lilith found her, she sensed a strain of corruption already there that she could take advantage of. All right, I guess that's it. Anything else? Nothing glowing. Oh, this is glowing. Agatha's glowing. All right, so... There's still no fast travel directly into the Abbey, huh? So weird. You have to just go nearby. Wait, it was Agatha who wanted to talk. I thought, all right, so I probably need to go back to the library. Agatha, it's me. Hello? You busy? Oh. It's always good to see you. What can you tell me about Cathon? We got the whole encyclopedia here. One of the first Elder Gods, Cathon is said to have existed for tens of millions of years, well before the dawn of humanity on Earth. Believe it or not, he wasn't always the bastion of evil that we know today. This story sounds familiar. As the legend goes, the downfall of the Old Gods was actually brought upon by Cathon's brother Set, who found that by consuming his siblings, he could gain their power. After Set consumed Hypus, Cathon followed suit with the others, and in this way, many of the first gods also became the first demons. And how did he come to be imprisoned on Earth? In the same way Hydra has worked to restore Lilith, various cultists of the past sought to revive Cathon to wield his power. When Cathon failed to cooperate, these same cultists did the only thing they could. They locked him away again. These questions are all like... I guess I'll just go top down. I have heard that Wanda's power comes from Cathan. The way I understand it, as a child, Wanda and her family lived in Transia, not far from Mount Wondagore. Within that mountain, the dark god Cthon had long been imprisoned, his corruptive influence an ongoing threat to the people of Transia. And Wanda was affected? Whether Cthon reached out to Wanda, or he found her by chance, I can't say. But Wanda was blessed or cursed by Cthon, touched by the power of chaos magic. While he had hoped to make her some sort of acolyte, she proved to be more capable than even he foresaw. What do you know about Transia? Transia is your ancestral homeland, Hunter. The birthplace of Lilith and Caretaker. It has always been a sort of magical junction, drawing in every type of occultist, sorcerer, and even the occasional Elder God. The Abbey Grounds still behave in much the same way, even after all this time. And Wondergore? Wondergore Mountain has always played a prominent role in whatever scheme was underway. Cathon himself is said to have created the Darkhold, deep within the caverns of the mountain. What about the Knights of Wondergore? Who were the Knights of Wondagore? Another mysterious group of heroes in a world full of mysterious groups. Of course, I'm no expert on transient history. I do know that the Knights of Wondagore were formed as a response to the growing threat of Cathan's influence near the mountain. What exactly did they do? 
Hydra was hardly the first to dabble in Chthonic schemes. Many have tried and failed to awaken the Dark God. Over the centuries, the Knights fought alongside a number of allies who stood against the various crazed worshippers of Chthon. You were there? At the witch trials? Not initially, no. If I had been, I like to think I could have stopped them. Before it was too late. I sensed something was wrong. And when the witches cried out in distress, I came to Salem as quickly as I could. But Shaw had already committed his crimes against them? Yes. It was a devastating discovery. And for the longest time, I blamed myself. But you see now it was not your fault. I've come to understand that we must accept the past and move on. But that doesn't mean I won't always carry that pain with me. I know that feeling all too well. I know. And I wish you didn't, dear. I really do. What was Caretaker like when she was younger? I'm sure it's difficult to remember now, but Sarah wasn't always the steadfast contrarian. In our younger days, she was much more enthusiastic about dashing off to save the day, not unlike some of our younger allies among the Sons. That does not sound like the Caretaker we know and love. Keep in mind, Hunter. Sarah has faced a great deal of loss in her time here. Everyone she ever cared about, in fact. I would say she's earned the right to be disagreeable, at the very least. She is a very strong woman. I'm not sure I would have held up as well, given the same circumstances. Well, that was a lot to say. Very informative. Do one quick pass back through or just check my map for anything glowing. Probably time for bed. Till we can figure out what's going on at Shaw's church. Actually, let's see if that clue is the same in Wanda's journal. Yeah, same one for now. Wait, what did she say? I couldn't bring myself to step inside that cursed place. But I intend to explore the area nearby. So, she didn't go inside. But it's possible she could have been out back where we found the stuff. Even though we had to walk through the church to get out back to the physics, she might not have had to do that. Could still be her boards. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Sleepy music. Injury healed on Spider-Man. Superlink message. Hey boss, good hang. We should do it again soon. I have something for you that's even better than the spark. I need some prep time before I can hand it over, so give me a heads up. Heads up. Voice over line something loading. Something smells pungent. That would be Grandma Stark's famous linguine and clam sauce, with some Tony adjustments. Grandma's recipe was not good enough? Well, I loved her to pieces, but she also loved vodka in her cooking, and I can't touch the stuff. Not anymore. I even made sure the Abbey has a dry bar. What did I do to deserve this honor? That's just my way of saying thank you for being one of the only Midnight Suns who hasn't threatened to banish me to the Netherworld, empty my jugular, or portal me to the sun. And that was just today. Tony's looking good in that new outfit. 
Perhaps if they knew more of the man underneath the armor, they would come to understand you as I have. Maybe you're right. The Mark series can be pretty imposing. I was not talking about your suit. Oh, that's deep. Just like the garlic-rich flavor of Grandma Stark's famous sauce. Ah, you two would have really hit it off. Like you, she had a heart of gold, but could be quite the demon when crossed. Used to frighten the crap out of Dad. I thought it gave her character. Know who else I'm pretty sure has character? You... Bon appetit, Hunter. Now level one friend with Iron Man, okay. Still think this version of Tony is total softy. Compliment value increased. Alright. No. Doctor Strange in this version is a lot more cold. Doctor Strange wants to talk. Yeah, that's a good looking room. Hey, can I ask a favor? What kind of instructor allows their pupil to fall into the clutches of darkness? I've failed Wanda. I fear she is lost for good. Wow. Darkness is merely the absence of light. Doctor, we will bring our light to Wanda and we'll save her. Three Light Balance and three Doctor Strange Friendship. Or, my mother is powerful beyond all measure. Best to worry about the fight ahead and forget the losses behind. One Hunter Dark Balance, but ten critical damage. Wow. That's a messed up decision, man. I feel like from the role-playing perspective, there's no way I can give that second answer. But I love the permanent stat bonuses compared to the things I can feel I feel like I can make up in other ways elsewhere. Ten critical damage, I don't know that that can really be made up. It's just I take it now or I lose it. But I'm still gonna go with the top answer. Again, for role playing reasons. Also three light balance is like a net four difference between choosing one dark or three light. Ugh. Thanks, Hunter. And maybe the friendship will pay off in some way. What is my balance looking like? Thirty-nine. I don't know how far I need to get it to go. Let's check our research project. Check for floaty motes. It turns out Tony does occasionally mm. make useful contributions. Hydra enemies have a chance to become available for interrogation when KO'd. Does that mean I have to like spend an action interrogating them or something? Blech. Well, I do have enough credits to build the thing, so I need to be careful with my credits. Probably build my healing place before I go off and try to spar with somebody. This, I still need to upgrade two more Spider-Man abilities. This one, I need nothing, but I don't know if I care that much. This one, I need to bring Ghost Rider two more times, and I get the ability to earn legendary suits and abilities. I think I would like to get that at some point. Upgrade three Captain Marvel abilities. Gain more intel. Yeah, I want this too. So what can I do now, though? I can do this one. Rare combat item schematic and a combat item. Ugh. I mean, can I just go make some Captain Marvel abilities real quick? I need to do six missions with Spider-Man? Come on. I don't care about this one, actually. I do want this one. 
I need to upgrade a couple more Iron Man abilities, but by the time I get to level 6... Apply modifications to upgraded abilities. That sounds good. To do one more mission with Blade. This, I want. Right, so I want both of these, but again, that's level 6. What am I going to do today? Two more Captain Marvel abilities, I can do this right away. Common Combat Suit and Vengeance Passive. I don't know what that is. Let's see if I can make a couple Captain Marvel abilities. What have you got for me, boss? What can I say? Except Heads up. You're welcome. 50 block to Iron Man or an ally. Okay. Retribution, 42. Knockback, discard a random card. Okay. Curse. Another Hellmouth. I think I just gotta keep taking rares. I think I'm still on that plan. I don't need another curse necessarily. I think taking rares makes the most sense. I mean, I do want to keep Nico strong. I might want to upgrade her curse. But, but, but. Good day, Hunter. Alright, let me see what I can upgrade in terms of Captain Marvel cards. If I can upgrade two Captain Marvel cards, I can go grab that thing. Oh, he's just floating there. That's impressive. Like a superhero. Upgrade abilities. Practice makes perfect. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses Only here. one available. Why would I need that many Captain Marvel cards in my hand? I mean, maybe if that were an Iron Man card. For an Iron Man card. Now we're talking. But I have the skill essence to spare and I just need to upgrade ability, so I'm going to do it. Will make a difference. And what do I have for him? I just don't have enough essence or yeah. Four more attack essence to be able to do that. What is my daily sparring is gonna cost 21. I cannot afford that because I really want to buy this. I can see why you picked that. Combat therapy is now available. Assign an injured hero to combat therapy and their injuries will be replaced with a combat bonus by the next morning. Heroes assigned to combat therapy cannot go on missions. Daily sparring now grants a secondary stat bonus to the hunter's sparring partner. Secondary stats provide benefits in combat, such as improving critical strike or increased chair. knockback. Okay. But I don't actually have enough credits to spar now, I think. I think. I have like eight credits and I need 21, so I need 13 more. Let's check my inventory. Right, let's just look at Carol's deck. I can't even edit it, I have nothing extra for her. I could craft something. Cosmic Ray. That's an attack. I don't have attack essences. I could craft a Photon Beam. Also an attack. Just got two upgraded <laughs> of these. Okay, I'm not even going to play them. Uh... 
on KO draw a card. Okay. I'm thinking I'll just upgrade a photon beam. Oh, I don't have common schematics, do I? I don't have a common blueprint. I have one rare blueprint. Do I have the ability to make blueprints? I don't know. Salvage a bunch of things. Dang. All right, let's do some more morning stuff. There's more morning stuff to do, right? Hail, fellow. Just visit over here and lounge over here now. I needed that. Let's check during the day. Over at Agatha's places. What's that thing? Where's the... What's the path to the altar? Is there a cup? No cup. No cup to speak of. To slow down in the house. All right, let's go over here to the shrine. Please. No cup. I don't know where the cup is supposed to come from. The bowl, that is. One more statue to light up. Okay. I didn't check down the hall yet. No bells, no ladder. Uh, whose door's open? The Spider Man? Or Iron Man? Mm-hmm. I really want that research, but I guess I got to do a different research because I cannot make a Carol card right now. How many credits was that? Three. Not, not a lot. The forge is a powerful tool. Yeah. Can't make anything. Still have this thing I could make, but I don't want to. Blueprint exchange. I could make a common blueprint. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Don't forget to write. I made a common blueprint. I wonder if that's bad value. Oh, what's in here? Snack box of a thousand jelly beans? Somebody's gotta love those, right? Probably Ileana. I heard she has a sweet tooth. Upgrade abilities. No pain. Oh no, I need to craft the ability first. Dang it. Alright, running back and forth. 
It's weird that these are in different places. Ability crafting. So, what did you have in mind? Captain Marvel. Photon beam. Another tool in our fight against Lilith. Always a pleasure. New ability to upgrade in the yard. Let's go. Oh, and we can go and we can go to the Intel, do our Intel stuff as well. Now we can upgrade an ability. Back which will again. be Photon Beam. This a try. Two out of six training. Alien alloys is ready. Photon beam is powered up. See you around. Back to the forge. And we can start our research. Alien alloys. Cree processor. War room schematic. Gain more intel when decrypting caches. Run two hero ops at a time. All right. Let's That's get the one I want. Just as a reminder, what do I need? Don't care. I need Ghost Rider on missions. And I need one more mission with Iron Man. Iron Man abilities. One more mission with Blade. I'm here if you need me. So I'm not, I don't really care for Ghost Rider and Blade, but I'm gonna have to bring them out some more. Upgrade the War Room. Oh, upgrades are now available for construction in the War Room. Build War Room upgrades to enhance the rewards earned from combat missions or hero happens. ops. Do I have to pay for this too? Oh gosh. Jeez. All right. Central is ready to work. Let's punch the numbers. Here's the latest from Hydra World. Twenty four Intel is a nice income. Night to remember, no punchline. These are the current priorities. Expires in one day, expires in three days, expires in five days. Well, now I wonder if I even want this one. If we had some rookies, I'd say send them out for the experience. But I think we're past that. Well, this one only gives one common ability. This one gives a rare ability. We have two extra days to do it. This one only costs 10 though, whereas this one costs 11 and has the same common reward. I think I will do this one. Shield shared intel with us. A former Hydra agent is most likely hiding in Wakanda. They previously worked out of Faust Faustus's lab. We suspect they might have vital information. Synapse is tracking them, and she could use help. I think that's the second time we've seen Synapse. Alright. I need so much money. I'm here if you need me. Let's check our main missions. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost. Almost. I found a strange ward. Oh no, Wanda found the ward too. It was not her ward. Unless she made it and she doesn't know she made it because she was like corrupted or something. I found a strange ward blocking the way behind Shaw's old church. The magic is certainly arcane, but there's something else going on as well. I've tried all manner of counter spells to break through, but so far nothing has phased it to try to think of something else. Dang. Oh, there's money. Twelve more dollars means I have 23. That's enough to spar. I think I will. I mean, I do want to get a hundred so I can build my new research projects, but sparring seems important. Any good books? All right, let me 
take a look. My options. They're always moving around. So this is still our story mission. Requires Iron Man. Gamma Coil. Credits. Ooh. Got some rare rewards on this. And it, we have to bring Ghost Rider, whom we need to use anyway. This requires Doctor Strange, but doesn't have rare rewards. Artifact to let us raid our research level. This gives money. This gives money. And this one says it's hard. I don't need that. Kind of negativity in my life. This one says it's easy. And it gives rare rewards. Is that just like a freebie? Gives a bunch of essences, but that's not my priority. I think I might just do this one. Progress the story a little bit. And get some money. Which means we're going to have to bring Iron Man. May as well bring our main trio. Hunter, Nico. It's a story mission, so we have to also bring Hunter anyway. So we'll throw Nico in the mix. And so I can send somebody else... On the ops. On the hunt, right? We're ready to make a move. Someone who's going to get a common ability. And that couldn't be. I don't know, maybe I just keep sending magic. If I had time, I'd take care of these myself. Train but her I up have a been bit. accused of hogging the ball before. Who's else abilities I need to upgrade? I need to upgrade Iron Man abilities, right? Or was it Spider Man? Nothing seems to rely on magic. It's kind of weird. She's like the odd one out. I haven't seen her mentioned hardly at all. I wonder if that comes later. I'm gonna do Captain Marvel. I don't know. Now let's do Ghost Rider. No, because that's. I was thinking he'd get a. Huh. I'll just send magic. Do as you wish. I don't know why. Thanks, Hunter. And then let's train. Spar with. Nico, maybe. Just keep buffing her up. Oh, she's unavailable. Um, we're gonna have to bring these folks on a mission at some point. So let's do. Oh, now we're giving them like permanent stats and stuff. I'm gonna do magic. Let's see if you're as good as they say. Rare combat bonus. Radius of effect abilities increased by 50%. 10% critical increase. Okay. I think her area of effect is good to buff up. Alright, now hopefully we get at least $100 on this mission. From this rare credits reward. Oh no! I don't get to pick my third person. Rendezvous with Bruce Banner at Avengers Tower. Alright. Let's see, Captain America, huh? Apologies for the delays. It's for the delays. 
Steve and I are holding down the fort here, alone, and given my condition, I'm just not myself. Yeah, because that's a new problem for you. Shut up, Tony. You're more than just the Hulk, Bruce. You're one of the most brilliant scientific minds on this planet. Indeed. And it's time for you to share some of that brilliance with us, Dr. Banner. When can we expect to see your findings? Keep telling you. Gremlins. Losing power. On arc reactors one and three. Facing complete defensive grid failure. Impossible. Even for her. Okay. Improbable. Incoming hydro gunships. We're being completely overrun. Missiles targeting us. No, 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 no. Stay calm, Bruce. I am calm. I am always calm. Bruce! Keep working the comms. I may be able to restore the system if I can get close enough to the tower. What do you say, Junior? Think you could back me up out there in case Mommy Darkest arrives? Anytime. Well, that's a serious story mission. We're not messing around. That's our team, I guess. Let's go. Oh, we get to do the walk now. Next time we visit the tower, the grand tour. I guess the walk is for like story we missions. Need to clean up a bit first. Kind of relieve the hawks on hiatus. Otherwise, we'll get on the furniture. Portal. It's portal. You have problem? You have problem? I have no problem with portal. We're dropping you to a position just outside the battle zone. A little extra caution. But better safe than sorry. I had a habit of doing that. And then we don't actually get to the battle zone. Woo! Oh, that's the direction we're coming from, huh? You do know I cannot fly, right? Tony, that you? The entire defensive perimeter's been taken out. Better get down here soon, or there'll be nothing left to save. Way ahead of you. That's cool, it's here in my costume. Sensors got your energy signature confused with a flock of radioactive pigeons. It's a New York thing. Uh oh. Yeah, I'd maybe add a couple more O's onto that. I thought the doctor said your defenses were down. They are. Didn't say anything about our defenders, though. Joe. Got some trailer material here. Could have used him on our destroy the helicopter mission earlier. Living legend, Sentinel of Liberty. Wonder if we're gonna get to take him home with us, or is this a Wolverine situation? Welcome to the fight. Defeat all enemies. Let's go. But no Nico? How am I supposed to defeat them all without Nico's witch fire? Resist, fully charged, thick skinned. I don't know that I've actually had resist before. Gunship Assault. Hydra gunships are firing rockets at the heroes. Any heroes inside the targeted area will take damage at the end of the turn. Moves move or abilities to reposition. Tip. Knock enemies into the area to turn the tables. I'm glad you're all getting acquainted out there, but if you could focus your attention on those Hydra soldiers, that'd be great. I'll work on getting the defenses back online, but you're on your own until then. I could probably do that a little faster. I did design the system. We don't have time for your ego right now. Just an observation. Resist. Prevent all damage from the next three damaging attacks. So we have resist three, 
Hunter will take no damage for the next three attacks. This is a really cool scene to fight on. Just like the top of the tower. Super cool. Alright, who's attacking the hunter? We got a big boy attack. We got 83. And we got a minion. And another medium little guy. How many minions total? One, two, three. Or one, two, three. Is this the big health? 149 and 149. So we got two of those. And three 83s. And what does my hand look like? I don't need this heal. Let's pitch it. And I really need to just change Hunter's deck. I don't like these cards that she has. Holy Gift is bad. Heal is very situational. Next hero card plate is not discarded. Gain 56 block and draw two? Sure. Next Iron Man played card is not discarded. How many Iron Man cards do we have? We have three. I can't do an Iron Man combo turn because I don't have heroism. Blast. Okay, so quick redraw to add knockback. Knockback redraw to add forceful. So I could holy gift and then quick blast twice. I wonder if I redraw to give it knockback if the it says it isn't discarded, so will it have knockback still? So I could take out four minions with one card play, because both quick blasts would be refunded. And that would give me four heroism. It also uses my redraw. Tactician gives Captain America some block. He has taken a few attacks. We draw two more cards. We have a lot of heroism. What are we going to do with it? Whip somebody into something. This thing. Sixty damage vault, twenty damage slide, twenty damage slide. Hunter has resist. I don't care about her getting attacked. If I whip somebody into this generator, they get stunned, and then they also take AOE damage. Let's see what a quick blast. Let's go ahead and do it. Give it knockback. And let's see what the options are. Not great. That's better. Oh, but that's not... It's only one minion. How many? There are three minions, right? Yeah, one, two, three. They don't have to get knocked back into each other. Where will he be standing after that? Right there. It's not too different. I'm gonna need to move the hunter at some point. Wonder if she can do a shove. Well, if I shove this guy into this guy, and that minion's gone, and then I really didn't need that knockback. Because I was just quick and quick. Yeah, I think I might have wasted that redraw, because I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Let's shove this here. It's a lot of damage. Oh, does he shock her back? Alright, so that took one of her blocks. She's just outside of the circle. I'm going to holy gift, I guess. And then Iron Man can 
hit these guys. This shouldn't take long. You guys should talk to your union rep. I don't think you're supposed to be fighting on our level yet. Keep the card, play it again. Don't use up that generator. Hope Hydra has good insurance. Now we have two card plays. Four heroism. Tempted to play this and draw two cards, and I just have one card after that, but maybe it'll be something big. Like if I draw two Iron Man cards and one of them is his chain card, then I can hit four times. 31 damage knockback is okay. I don't even know if he's positioned to hit somebody. I can do that, but... Was I wanting to whip this guy into here? Maybe. It makes it less exciting to play Tactician if I'm just going to end up whipping. being attacked. I only took out minions so far. I don't think I'm taking out anybody else. It's only gonna be maybe a little bit of CC. This does 20 damage. It's not enough. I feel at least 4% stronger than before. I'm gonna check my map. Almost. Oh, but then I can smash him with a box. Getting it done any way we know how. Hopefully the box gets it done. Here we go. Figured out that guy. Anyone else worth beating up a little bit? 20, 40 damage, puts him down to 43. Probably not gonna be able to finish him off, so just whip this guy. No. Look at that. We got like four pixels. Four pixels off, huh? Could hit him into that one, but then he's not taking that damage. I don't know how much damage it is. Here, at least here he's getting thrown against the wall. So we're not gonna stun him, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Is he gonna take another one of her resists? Nope. Alright. So now it's gonna hit him for like half of his remaining damage, which is nice. And I got two heroism, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. Who's gonna get beat up? Hunter, Hunter. She has two resists. Captain America, Captain America. 
He's level nine with 189 HP. And then Iron Man with level seven, 132 HP. He's getting a hit once. Or he might not even get hit. This is the covert guy. He's just gonna target him, make him vulnerable probably. All right, let's see it happen. Ooh. Time's up. Oh, the discard a card thing? Alright, we'll figure that out later. Resisted and. I cannot Ooh. Seem to focus. Oh, resisted. Or she resisted the damage, but she still got dazed. Please just be two minions. It's like two minutes. I'm really good at number on these systems. And what happened to the fail safes? Did you even have any? I'm not sure I'd brag about these designs if I were you, Tony. Oh, well, let me know when Banner Industries releases your model, and I'll be sure to take a look. Wow, that's a lot of Captain America cards. Taunt quick. Damage and taunt each enemy in an area. Taunt quick and damage and taunt. So we got no draws. We can redraw. He's not dazed. Damage and taunt each enemy. This is our little zone of danger. So Iron Man has to get out of that. We want a shield bounce probably with this guy in it. It's a minion, I don't have to target him. We've got quick cards. I actually have three quick cards, don't I? I feel like I'm just gonna kinda willy nilly start firing these off. I know that wasn't your signature move. Oh now they're all looking at him. He's not. Okay, he got concealed. I didn't notice we got two of that guy. But we can still just... Oh, that costs two heroism. Okay, so we gotta quick do some quick punchies first. Um... Here we go. Love the effort. Days removed. Wonder? No. One. Iron Man's still gonna have to get out of there. I saw a move like that once centuries ago. Punch? Alright, so we're gonna have two guys left. Hope that guy doesn't go covert. Still time to run away. You better get Field. Going. Please no. Dang it. Oh, you got one hiding. Thing. I wanted to finish him off with this quick blast. But we cannot. So now I don't know how to hit him. He's so close to dead. Can we draw the surgical strike? Draw the whip.
Right, I can't let Iron Man stand there. Right. But if I could, I could use Hunter to shove this guy into that blast zone. I wonder if Iron Man will walk out if I use this. No, it looks like he'll stay where he is no matter what. Range attack. So he's not going anywhere. I have to move him. I could shove this guy. Iron Man will stay in the blast zone, and this guy won't even take any damage. Could shove this guy a little bit of damage, and Iron Man will get out of the blast zone. Cannot shove this guy because he's invisible! Alright, so I gotta use his, the move to get Iron Man out, so it may as well be to also do a little bit of damage. And, man, my cards, I mean, that Captain America cards were great, but now what we're left with is not great. We just have this quick blast. We're gonna do 14 damage and that's it. Plus 14's not even enough. If I could add knockback, I could have thought about that. Then I could knock this guy back in there. Alright, I'm gonna just poke this guy, I guess. That's it. Nice work. I had one heroism, I could have hit somebody with a box, I guess, but... Nobody that... Ooh. Mm -mm. 80 damage? A paltry attempt at concealment. Well, just a heal. Getting closer. Power distribution is coming back online. Should All be right. able to reactivate the. Wait, what? Why are those even connected? But, but, we don't have time for your ego, Tony. By two marked and two vulnerable, redraw to add nearby enemies gain two marked. Well, he's way over here. Marked and vulnerable is not good on somebody who's going to take a bunch of damage. has a lot of health remaining rather should might maybe be this guy but he also has the conceal if I spend a card to mark him I'd better take him out this turn Currently have three chains. Could redraw into more chains, but I need the heroism as well. This gives two. Well, two heroism, but then I'm down a chain. But all my other cards are quick. But then I have no cards to redraw. So is three chains enough? If I quick, 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 take out minion, minion, nobody. So nobody else can be taken out by that. 36 times three is enough to take out this guy. Or if I just do 
two of these. Oh, these aren't quick. This isn't quick. Never mind. Let's dump a punch then. Deadly ground. Can I surgical strike deadly ground? Like if I make explosives, can I hit them with surgical strike? I'm tempted to just play this now. See where they are. Embrace the chaos. Gives two heroism as well. That's the worst. Wow, what kind of algorithm is that? Who would do that to me? Hunter. Oh no. I want to bump somebody. And then she'll be standing there. Which isn't great. Do I redraw again the other punch? Yes. Shall. That's what I wanted, the quick punch. So now. Double your heroism. Does it give me three first? Oh no, it's just showing me how much I would be gaining. Ugh. I think I'm just gonna have Captain America hit this guy. I'm going to... Remember that. I think I'm gonna have Hunter. Move. Well, he has like no health left. Nobody's targeting him though, that's good. To here? And then quick slash this guy into this guy for a little bit of damage. Hail. Oh gosh, no. Oh gosh. Oh, wait, this guy's targeting Captain America. And there's nothing I can do about it. because I can't target him. Wow. I have two card plays, but... Looks like I cannot detonate this. Or maybe I can. Is Iron Man not moved? Is he staying in the same spot?
Why are they invisible? And I used my move. Okay, so here's the situation. I cannot... Two hits of Surgical Strike takes this guy out. Three is wasted. There's nothing else I can hit. Can't hit either of these two guys with marked target because they're invisible. So I may as well play new plan, double my heroism up to 10, and then I only get two strikes with Surgical Strike, but that is still enough to take this guy out. These guys are still left up. I'll have a lunch of heroism going into next turn of seven. Um, and then... Captain America is probably going down due to this guy targeting him with a big scary attack and he's vulnerable. This guy's targeting Iron Man, which is better. So I think I'm going to do my healing salve on Captain America. So hopefully that is enough to keep him alive. And let's see what happens. What's going on? 120, wow. 80. She's resisting. You guys should target her. No more bad guys, which means I don't think I'm going to get three stars. Just have to take out these guys. 59 and 78. I find the devil is everywhere these days. I am going to enjoy getting to know you. At this point, I wonder if I can just whip them into that. Could almost die. Forty nine damage puts him down to ten. I could bash him with this box and then whip him in. Or how much to this guy? He puts him really close too, but I only have one whip. But I have a bunch of damage. Let's hit this guy with a box. Oh, he just... Did he get knocked back? Can he still reach? Okay. I'm gonna do that. See what we discard. Level up. I don't know what that was that I lost. She's level 10 now. Um, blast for 29. It's pretty good. All right, so let's just do that. Let's redraw this. To add forceful move Iron Man to here. And blast him. Take him out. And that better win us the mission because Captain America is still in the blast zone. Looks good. Screen turned black, so that's a good thing, right? Usually. Good thing it's not. 
least we know Hydra's commitment to cowardice remains unchanged. Much like their commitment to just plain sucking. Huh. Maybe we will survive this battle unscathed. Can't just say things like that, Hunter. Never, ever say that. That's pretty much Hero 101. Secret code is not Hulk Smash. Don't be ridiculous. It's Hulk Smash 1234. Transmitting now. <sighs> Got it. Hey, cute. But you're playing with the big boys now. Wow. Hail Hydra! Time for a crossbones fight. Draw two cards and four redraws, but no card plays. Give all heroes 56 block. He's got 334 health and a second life. I'm not loving this. Might need to heal Captain America. Iron Man is being targeted a lot as well, and he does not have a lot of health. These heroes are not really built to be taking out enemies. Um, I mean, what's that? Three minions? Four minions. Okay. Can I take them all out at least? We have a quick blast. Shield bounce. That won't even let me preview. Knockback taunt. Alright, this heals for 126. He's at 95. Yeah, I might need to high out Iron Man. Yeah, Captain America's not really getting targeted except for this by this giant bomb. Iron Man's being targeted by Crossbone, so I'm gonna heal him and draw two cards. The light will carry you onward. I don't know what it is, but I like it. New target. Crossbones, Mercenary's Instinct. Crossbones will always attack the hero with the lowest health. So now he's going for Captain America. Wow. This deadly ground going to fail us again. I don't have much to use it with. Do I? Let's preview our shield bounce now. It taunts everybody, which... Now that I healed Iron Man, I don't know that that's what I want. Can I get all three of these guys? Mm. Not quite. Ooh, there you go. Could get all three of these guys with that. 
still leaves three minions up, and those two guys are not gone. But I might be able to shield bounce them again. And that would finish them off. So, if my two card plays are shield bounces, I need my other two card plays to take out minions and generate heroism. But I don't have anything quick. I have nothing quick. Nothing quick is not great. Oh, this is quick. Oh, but there are three other minions. How many was I counting? Two. And I hope the reinforcements are minions and not those crazy tough guys. Do I need to heal Captain America too from Crossbones attack? I hope not. I hope I can just get him out of that circle and then that can be the end of it. Oh, well, here is 56 block. Well, that would take a card play as well. All right, I'm gonna have Iron Man quick blast this guy because he is attacking Captain America. I heard Lola is kind of hot. Any of you dorks make a move yet? <sighs> Might be able to have Captain America shove into crossbones? Not quite. Not quite. Where will he move if he shield bounces? To there. Okay, so he'll be out of the blast. Can I do it again? Get the... There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I need to make sure to take them all out, because he's taunting them. So I need one more heroism, which I can get from any of my other cards. But I only have one card play left. Oh, so I really need it to be quick. Oh no, I didn't plan. I should have made sure I had a quick card. All right, time to start redrawing. I need a quick punch. No, Iron Man. I need a quick punch. Nope. Oh boy. 56 block or 84 healing. It's at 95, 84, be 179. So, the healing's better. Now I don't have. Oh, I can redraw Holy Flame for a heroism. I like the heal, but I think I need the heroism. So that I can shield bounce. Oh, but I just spent both my redraws. Ah! Cool. Alright, Captain America does have a move. If he shoves this guy, nothing happens. If he shoves this guy, nothing happens. If he shoves this guy, nothing happens. And if he shoves this guy, we could take him out. We could take out one minion with a shove. How about Hunter? Looks like she's still in the zone. It's not showing her taking damage because she has the resist. But I'd rather not spend on a resist on that. If I can avoid it. 
So she can do a little shove for a bunch of damage. Um, what about Iron Man? He's probably in a better position to shove. He can shove this guy into this guy. Or shove him into Captain America, and he's almost taken out. We still can't actually take him out. This does less damage, but takes out a minion, also. I think I'll do that. Oh, Iron Man. Oh, Iron Man. What have I done? This is a disaster. disaster. card left, so I could just take this guy out. Or this guy. With Holy Flame. I've got to move Iron Man, right? But I don't know how to move him. I can spend heroism to blow this up, but he's not going to move. Do I really risk it on deadly ground? Because then I can't holy flame. I feel like I've messed this up so much, I'm tempted to just deadly ground and then hope for the best. This could be really embarrassing. Wow! It is embarrassing. Why don't they put it ever close to enemies? Is it like designed to not ever be helpful? Or am I just unlucky right now? That's really bad. Okay. Well. Iron Man, please move. Oh, that was Hunter. I had the Hunter do it. She moved. Which is nice, because I think she was going to lose a resist to that. But Iron Man, he'll just shoot it. Oh, 
he moved. It didn't show me, but he moved. Oh, I'm so glad that worked. Okay, he moved. I didn't think he was going to move. But I did anyway, and he moved. Not ideal. Did it blow up my thing too? Jeez. Chance. Brace Please be minions. They look minionish. Timed grenades. Crossbones grenades have timers that will count down with every action. Every action? Every card? Every action. So that's your legendary savior? Like what if I move? Kid, right? Must be the run to Is the a litter. move an action? Come closer, mercenary. And I will show you just how hard this runt can bite. Hero combo is for Hunter and Captain America. 156 damage is nice, but it's only less than half of Crossbone's first health bar. The new enemies do seem to be minions minion minion and we've got these two guys that we left with small health but i need to move captain america asap shield bounce can take out a bunch of people does that move him Does move him. Can't quite get all four of these pe people. I can barely get these three. I think I can settle for these three. Get Captain America out of there. Or these three. Where would he be standing? Over here. That's fine too. I'm going to do it this way. It's going to cost my two heroism. Hopefully I don't regret that. I can see why your friends put their trust We got this in card. All heroes get 56 block. Which could be important because Captain America is extremely low. I can heal him for 84, put him up to 85. Oh, he's at one. Actual one. I was thinking a shove to get crossbones, take out that guy, and go into this circle would be nice. Surgical strike for, like, no damage. It's not great. Let's lose it. Really don't like this card. Alright, so redraw doesn't count as an action, because it did not count down this bomb. That's good to know. Gives us draw two cards, gain four redraws. I don't want that. But I have to kill him. I don't have any pushes. I'm going to redraw one of these. Alright, that's the one we wanted. And, because it's quick... If I use it to like maybe hit crossbones into this guy and this guy gets taken out by that, then I get a card refund. So I'm gonna move Hunter to here. All right, seems like that didn't count as an action. Although technically I have momentum, I can keep moving. Knock this guy. 
I don't know if crossbones would end up in the circle or not then if I do that. But I get my card refund, so I think it's worth it to hope. I knock him into Iron Man, he takes more damage, but card refund is better. Just another scar. You're fighting out of peace. Oh. Crossbones Hydra's Shield. The first attack against Crossbones will cause him to raise his Hydra's Shield, providing him with additional block for the rest of the turn. If his block is reduced to zero, he loses the ability. Ugh. So now we have no more enemies. I've used my move. But Iron Man is still in the blast. Which means I failed to think about that. Can I get him out by throwing this? I think so. so. That was more just to get Iron Man out of there. Not necessarily to break the shield. But breaking the shield would be good too. Oh, he is in. He's going to take a lot of damage to his shield. So we just need to do a little more damage. Um, Captain America is still very low. I still have two card plays, so I'm going to heal. Captain America. Fair enough. Oh, it triggered our ivory collar. Oh gosh, stop clogging up my hand. Jeez. I'd like to do a little bit more damage to break through that shield. I can just play it. Get it out of my hand. I wonder how long it lasts. Draw two, gain four redraws, but I'll have no more card plays. Draw two, gain block, no more card plays. Give all heroes 56 block. It's the same amount of block. This gives two heroism also. I wonder... Is Captain America able to do this? No. just need a little more damage. I literally have no damaging cards. Or at least no heroism used with it. Wow, this is actually the, my only damaging card right now. It's hero combo. Alright, I'm definitely playing this. I don't want it in my hand. This shall be of great um, help. This gives block to everybody, but not everybody needs it. Only Captain America needs it, and this also gives two heroism. How am I going to do those, like, three damage just to make sure he doesn't get his shield next time? I don't think I can. It's very sad. I guess I'm just doing this. Target. Help is at hand. Draw two cards, but I can't play them. I can play this now. Uh, to clear out a spot in my hand, but at the cost of two heroism, which I don't think I want to do. So I'm done. Blocks it all. It's about time. I hope you leave enough room for me. I'm gonna ram it into your stomach and break your damn spine. Souvenir for you. Ah. Hardly a flesh wound. 
I have two people who need to get out. Bruce, getting quiet down there. I'm a little busy. Perhaps if you could stop the hail of rockets from slamming into the facility, I could stabilize the highly explosive reactor. Yeesh, always so touchy. So now everybody has to get out. Captain America can stay until the end of the turn. Three heroism. Quick blast, redraw to knock back. Quick punch. Take out the minion. Hunter and Iron Man need to get out of there. Hunter doesn't. She's got plenty of resists, so nobody's targeting her. Iron Man needs to get out. He only has a certain amount of health to deal with. If I quick blast one of these guys, will he move? Yes. I wanted to use the knockback on crossbones, but I can play precision. I can play precision. And then quick blast. Hmm. I don't know if that's worth it. Nah, let's just do this. Let's do this, actually. Fail Smydra. Fail Smydra. Now. Now I have the damage for this. Let's do it. For the herald. Can my computer handle the cutscene? Oh, he only has four block left. I thought it was going to refresh completely. That is much better. Alright, that is much better. Now I could just like shove him in. I'm much happier now. Just shove him right in to Captain America. For a nice chunk of damage. Doesn't hurt Captain America. He benefits from our training. Right? Now he's in that blast. Captain America can punch this guy. Hope they're ready. Now we have all the cards we need. Haven't felt this good in years. He's level 10. Now we've got card plays to spare. So I'm going to go ahead and play. I have a plan. Yeah, we pretty much got all the work done we wanted. Cleared the reinforcements. Got crossbones into the danger zone. And got all our friends out of the danger zone. Let's make more deadly ground. Do I keep this? Yeah. Right, let's make more deadly ground. Do I keep this? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. the heroism or I can just play this. I'm just going to play it. Get out of my hand. This is part of the reason I want build like team builds. Like I want to build my decks according to entire three person teams. Because that's a card that I want to play with Nico around. But not really otherwise. I'm going to keep these two cards. Let him get a bomb drop on him. It's 
Oh, you got a shield, but it shouldn't have any damage on it. Dazed, sure. Is he coming? Wow, 22 damage. Past his block. Reinforcements. It's fine. Alright. She has five resists now. time with the big man himself. Always wanted to get a closer look at that shield of yours, Cap. It'll make a nice souvenir. Careful what you wish for. Far away. Wonder. He's dazed four. So I can't even. I can't even select him to do anything. All right, so he's. I was thinking maybe he can like shove, but no, he, he's dazed four. He can't do anything until I played four cards, and he's still targeted. So heal would be good. One twenty six over seventy four. Not even gonna fill him up. Just put him at two hundred, which means I would not get to draw two cards. But I'm gonna want to finish this guy off. Fifteen damage. Quick Blast for 16 will finish him off. Or just spend one heroism and blow him up. But no, because I can't move Cap out. So let's Quick Blast. Work. Hopefully that counts as defeating him for a refund. I, I hope so. Okay, good. Uh, we get it back because of I played that other card last turn. I wonder if I can still whip him. Knock back this guy. Maybe this guy. Or just quick take him out, not knock back, but. How much is Lilith paying you guys anyway? It can't be enough. Um, so I guess we can't damage him. Can we? Can I whip him? No, I can't even do anything. Just have to take out this minion with my three card plays. So I have plenty of card plays. Let's heal. The light will heal you. That did not go back to my hand. I wasn't sure what was my most... After I played Ivory Collar, I'm not sure what my next card was. I can spend a whole card on taking this guy out. I'm not thrilled about it, but... But I can. So I will. Wait, what? Oh, Iron Man's using the ability. Um, sure, knock him into her. She needs to move out. They don't all have to be pretty. So let's just move her to like here. Here? I don't know. Oh that's oh I shouldn't have no, well I can still move her. I don't want too many people close together because then they can all be in the zone of wherever Hydra drops its next bomb. So let's spread them out. And then let's... Ooh, now that Cap is healed, who's the next target? He's at 200, Iron Man's at 153. She's at 195, so Iron Man's probably gonna be the next target. I'm just gonna give everybody block. He has to spend his turn waking up anyway. Um, I have four redraws, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna redraw this for heroism. Yeah. It's about time. I've got a 
All right, the hero combo exhausts itself, so that's not coming back. New target is Iron Man, right? Yeah. Surprised you had the courage to come down here and face us yourself, Rumlo. Hydra suddenly pay you extra for honor? And miss the look on your face? Trust me, Rogers. Nothing could keep me away from here today. So now, we've got two surgical strikes, six redraws, and eight heroism. How many Iron Man cards can we get into our hand? And just obliterate him. How many times do I need to hit him? He's got... He's in the blast zone, too. But... 334. Oh, he's at full health. So 334 divided by 41. I don't know what that number is. Um, 5... 15... No. 40 into 100 is two and a half. So two, four, six, seven and a half? Eight? Right now I have access to five. If I redraw into an Iron Man card, that becomes seven. Did not. Let's try again. Did not. Let's try again. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. So now we have seven hits. That's just about 280 damage. We only have one redraw left. I'm going to do it. Yeah, all right. So now we have nine surgical strike hits. We can make him vulnerable. And then we only get seven hits. But 7 becomes the power of 10 and a half, which is better than 9. So it actually makes sense to mark him. Or won't make him vulnerable. So let's do that. A little bit less flashy, but more damage. The target is clear. You think that hurts? And then let's hit him. Two hundred forty-four damage. Pretty good. He gets a new shield. I did not expect the follow-up shield. And I only have one card play, so his shield refreshed for his second life. Well, that's not fair. He's out of stun range. I wonder if Captain America shoves him. Then he'll be in stun range. But let's see, he's still vulnerable. I can still do 120 plus 50%, 180. Which means he'll be down to about 20 health. And then I can blow this thing up. But I should blow this thing up first. So that I get the card play refund, even though I think that'll just end the encounter. But can I knock him into Iron Man then? No. So if I blow this up, we're gonna be hurting ourselves. But I think that's okay. Watch my back. 
think we can take him out now. Yeah. Boom. He's marked, so we get our card play refund, so we can still take out a minion or two. But I think it'll just end the scenario. We've done it. You peewee scout sure had me worried for a second. Was afraid I wouldn't get the chance to use this. Hold that thought. What's our status, Brucey? You good? Oh, yes. So good. Tony, was that a gamma burst? Why am I reading a gamma burst coming from inside the tower? Not to worry. Everything is fine. All part of the plan. Bruce, what the hell is going on down there? <laughs> Something far worse than hell, Tin Man. Lilith, like I said before. The Dark Mother thanks you so much for the Gamma Accelerator. Couldn't have done it without you, Tony. Did I miss something? He is lost to us. Fallen to my mother's corruption. Yeah, sort of a thing now. That seems like bad news. You played us. Well, played me. The code, this. Also, you could steal your precious accelerator. Fight her off, Bruce. We both know you're much stronger than this. Always trying to play the hero, Tony. Well, here's your chance. Save the world. Take the shot. Disappointing. Oh no. We beat Crossbones. Great news, everyone. Where's the slight downside? All right, three stars for that. Take it, 173 credits means I can afford some of the stuff I wanted. Heroic three difficulty unlocked. No, thank you. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Yeah, so we level up faster, but we'll need to level up faster to make up for the fact that all our enemies are getting stronger. No, thank you. And double our gloss. I don't need to double my gloss. I have not had a gloss shortage yet. Again, if I'm consistently getting three stars and I feel like I want some more difficulty, I'll take it. But I'm not just going to start clicking upgrade difficulty willy-nilly. Happy to take it slower. Nice, enjoyable pace. Winning missions feels nice. Everybody's Tell worried. I don't know what to say. And don't say anything, because I don't want to talk about it. Tony his best loss for friend words. and his <laughs> house. That's a first. It's happened before, and it's never a good sign. He's deeply shaken. Okay. And to meet Captain America. It was a long mission, so this episode's running a little long now, but let's wrap up some story stuff for the evening. Let's be real. We all know what's going to happen with Banner and Lilith, and it rhymes with the word sulk. All right, where's he at? He's out of here. And when Banner gets oh, practicing already. Whoever he hurts is going to be on Tony's hands. Because well, he didn't kill him, we I guess, talk. huh? You're right. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best friends against us. I am sorry about Dr. Banner. It is always hard when our comrades fall. I appreciate that, Hunter. But you don't have to tell me about war. 
I've fought my share of them. Then you know the risk, as did he. We're all willing to risk our lives, but this is different. What Lilith did to Banner was unthinkable. She changed him. <sighs> Listen, I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But... But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? What if she has already? If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. You might be right, which is part of the problem. I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. He's opening up his soul. I was told you are a soldier. I was. A long time ago. Yeah, Captain America is going to respond well to all the light answers. Uncertain. Learn from this experience and ensure that it never happens again. Or give in to doubt and surrender now. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Not exactly my branch of the service, but I get the point. You know, I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I'm giving Captain America Captain America device, advice. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is, I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi. I'm Steve Rogers. What do you say we get to know each other? Oh boy, a lot of questions. Well, I do know a lot of Captain America stuff. I there is a past Might not have to read everything. Crossbones. He's a mercenary. Real name, Brock Rumlow. He does not seem to <coughs> like you very much. We go way back. He even killed me once. So you are an immortal. Only if you listen to the Avengers marketing team. It's a long story, but no, I bleed just the same as you. Well, not, not the same as you, or Carol, or Bruce. Even Tony and Steven, I guess. But look, I'm mortal. There is something about you that I cannot place. You seem different from your friends. Almost... <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. I get that a lot. Last time I checked, I was 102. But honestly, I stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45 and stayed frozen for, well, long enough. When they finally fished me out, the world I knew was long gone. I understand we have that in common. It has been an adjustment. Believe me, I know. The world has changed a lot since you were last here. But if you need help or just need to talk it out, I'm here. Anytime. Oh, I just noticed. Oh, he cut away. But the punching bag right behind Captain America, it says it's from Rand Athletics, which means the company owned by Danny Rand's family, the Iron Fist. Um, we don't have to ask him all these questions, right? I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. See you around, Hunter. All right, Captain America is now available. So no hangouts available. To release Banner. It's based on this really old movie. But we need an old priest and a young priest. Got some credits for... Praising Charlie? Lilith has a hope now. And here I thought we were in this shit before. Charlie, how come you're not? Has turned all evil scientist. I'm worried about what you'll do to Wanda. 
I don't want to think about it. I just want her home. Everybody's having this conversation. Good, I'm just trying to praise Charlie. Not good. Nope. Ooh, cutscene. I told you I don't want to talk about it. Not talking about the boys it are fighting. this real. Banner has betrayed us and the tower has fallen. As Lilith rises, we fall. We were always so worried about the damage the Hulk could do. Quietly cheered to ourselves when we thought he might be gone for good. We never once considered what Banner's mind is capable of, unhinged. I should have seen this coming. Beating yourself up will not bring the tower back. I should know. I've been where you are now, spending countless hours blaming myself for the loss of the Sanctum for Wanda. Yeah? Well, maybe you didn't blame yourself enough. Some of us don't shrug off our failures so casually. I know you're angry, but if you're looking for a punching bag, may I suggest using the one in the yard and not me? There you go again, throwing in the towel before the fight is over. You're the only one who's fighting. Now take it outside, Tony. I've had enough. While he often mocks my mastery of the arcane arts, I'm worried Tony's doubt will erode his confidence. We need Iron Man, Hunter. Please, Gerard. Iron Man sure did a lot of damage. Alright, so I guess he went outside. Perhaps you will have better luck. Which way did he go? My map. Man, I never thought Dr. Oh, he's over here? Get hacked. Poor guy. I don't know where that is. By the war room? Poor Wanda. Uh, don't worry. We'll get them back. Both of them. Where am I? Alright, so he's We're over this way. War for the very soul of our world, Hunter. Sentimentality gets us killed. And don't think for a second that Lilith doesn't know how to exploit that. Well, you know my thoughts on the matter. Yeah, I'm still gonna go check for that bowl. I fear we may be. No bowl. Let me guess. You're here to tell me I screwed up. That I should have taken the shot at Banner when I had the chance. Go ahead, Hunter. What are you waiting for? Say it. Tell me I screwed up. No. You did not do anything wrong, Tony. You just could not bring yourself to kill your comrade. I was weak. I let my love for him get in the way. No, Tony. Your loyalty and empathy are strengths, not weaknesses. The hell they are. They blinded me to what was actually going on. Damn it, why didn't I see Bruce slipping away? I should have known something was going on with him. All the red flags were there and I ignored them. Some grand genius I am. I have three masters, a PhD from MI freaking T, and I sat at the helm of one of the planet's greatest companies, but I couldn't even see what was screaming right in front of my face. How did I let him play me like that? He fooled me that one night at midnight when he gave Bear me a, took my readings Bear. and everything. He fooled us all. Yeah, well, if anyone here should be foolproof, it should be me. You are not the first brilliant man Lilith has deceived. We are not in control anymore, Tony. No one is safe. No fortress impenetrable. Not now. With my mother emboldening Hydra forces, there is nothing she cannot touch. You know, this, this little pep talk isn't really working for me. Then perhaps I should take my leave. Yeah, you do that, boss. Leave. I got two friendship and two light balance, but he's still grumpy. Tony Stark let sentimentality stay his hand. Caretaker once wishes he killed... Bruce. Ooh, Agatha's got something to say. Let's get out there and avenge the Avengers Tower. Alright, well, this episode's gone pretty long. I 
think we covered probably most of the story elements directly related to that. Uh, of course, there's going to be Aftermath. I'm going to go ahead and talk to Agatha and Caretaker. We're going to do that next time, and then we'll finish up with the evening and the morning stuff. See where our research is at. So, I'm going to go ahead and save now. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time when we continue on. Subscribe so we can get more subscribers. And bye.